Uh-oh. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Alright. Steve Fox. Ha! 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 Okay. Let me recap on what I remember from last time. So... Steve Fox, counter hit character, 112 is his jab punish, and you could go into the weaves out of 112. You also go right into ducking, it looks like. I don't know if that's something you have to respect, let me see. Yeah, you don't have to respect that. Maybe you do, actually. Nope. Okay. Alright. So, anyway. 112 is his jab punish. Uh, dot 4 plus 1 plus 2 is his 14 frame punisher. Forward 1 plus 2, 2 is his 15 frame punisher. And then this shit right here, back to, is a 17 frame punisher. So that's when he launched 17 frames, and it's an awkward combo. Because you have to go into flicker and do one down two. One down one, actually. Right? Is that what it was? Or you could do forward 2-1, it's a flicker 1 down 1, right? That's what it was. Yeah, there it is, right? Oh, what happened? Saw that? My framer just went to shit right there. And sure, on the, the frame rate crowd counter stayed at 59, but the game was freezing up like crazy. Right, of course, Sonic Fang. Okay, uh, so Steve's major weaknesses is his lows. Uh, his low range is kind of whatever, except on down one. Down one has good range. Down back two also, but down back two is like edge case seeable, so it's not really worth the risk against a good player. And then when you're right in their face, down back 3-2 is good, but they're always one back that's away from getting away from it. The uh, best way to pressure into his stances on block is 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one forward or 2-1 back, which was plus 3, if I recall right. And he has 12, uh, 12 frame off, and I think from both stances, to stop you from pressing buttons. So, uh, to show you, you do 2-1 forward to go into peekaboo, 2-1 back to go into flicker. So if I can do a 2-1 back and then flicker jabs, it's going to counter hit me if I try to jab him, right? I'll block. Not quite. Flicker jabs are... Oh, is flicker jabs are 15 or is that 12? No, that's 12. There it is. I was just too slow. See? Cannot jab and interrupt that. I'm going to show you peekaboo one. It's the same thing. Oh, I held back. Right. Oh, we exchange. So that's just me being slow, but you get the idea, right? Hold forward. That felt slow, but whatever. Ugh. Get this clean. There, that looks clean. Oh wow, still getting into exchange. Whatever. Think about Peekaboo is he has a high uh, the counter, right? The Sabaki. No, not that. Not that either. Peekaboo too. I'm trying to do. There it is. So we try to punch him. 
Bam, right? That's gonna happen. That's also a homie move. That's also a counter hit jungle starter. See? So. That's the thing about Peekaboo, the transitions, right? Even if he transitions to Peekaboo at negatives, um, he has that Peekaboo too to keep you in check if you try to punch him. So you as a Steve player can remember that, and if you're against Steve, you need to remember that about Peekaboo. Otherwise, that's a, uh, well, it's not that much damage, but he probably gets pretty good Okio for that uh, parry too. It looks like he does, right? Um, that is a high though, right? Yeah, that is a okay. So that's the thing about Steve, right? 2-1, the best transition on block. 2-1 two, forward, 2-1 two, back. 1-1-2, one, one, jab punish. Down forward, up a 2, 14 frame punish. Down forward, 1-2, uh, 13 frame mid-hitting punish. Uh, back 1-2 is also a 13 frame punch. That's high. 1-1-2 one, one, is still more damage anyway. Um, 29. Forward, 1 plus 2-2 two, two is 15 frames. And back to 17 frames. And then his wall standing punishment, wall standing 1-2. And it's pretty much that until you get full crouch down forward two at 18 frames. That's really his wall standing punishment. It's kind of crazy, right? Um, and then up forward two is a key move for him. So, figure out your drug for that. That's where I left off. The last move that I left off at was full forward two, which is a classic, really good Steve move. This is uh, unsafe on block, though. It's negative uh, 12, I think, or 11. Negative 13. I wish I had a 13 frame while standing with the test. That's 14. Yeah, I don't have a 13 frame while standing with the test, but negative 13 it says the Tekken Bob, right? It's 442. Do I have it up on the um, on the frame data list here? Let me see. 442. Yeah, negative 13 to negative 12 forces crouch. And uh, this also hits grounded. I don't know if it hits grounded in all like. Um, Get up automatically, he does. In all angles. Turn off, wake up. So. Ha! Uh, weird. So, uh, it only hits grounded at the head. That's weird. And it has to be like on axis. See? Like that. So freaking weird. Alright. Stomp on him. Alright. So now that we know about that. 4 2 is just one of those moves you uh, throw out from some distance. It covers a lot of range because it's a forward forward move that helps with the tracking. So you gotta remember that. It has like good range, you see? Even if, even if I swing it from back here, it still clips him. Uh, this looks like a kind of hitbox that would hit like AOP too. Man, I remember when Steve was so good with that in second six? He was good with that in BR. I don't know if he was as good in, in, in uh, I don't know if he had this in 5.0, but in BR, this gave him a free down back two, if I'm not mistaken. It might still do that, I'm not sure. Well, whatever. It was safe, if I'm not mistaken either. Um, either way, it's still a really good move. Okay, if they nerfed it, whatever. It's still a really good move. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all there's to say about that. It animates at 14 frames, so if you don't include the forward forward, it's a fast move too. It used to bound, I think. Tekken 6, Tekken Tag 2. Alright, so next move on the list. Quarter circle forward 1. This is like the wall splat. Right Bam, right? Yeah, I think he still gets a free hit, like this. 442 still gets free stuff. It, it might just be down one, though, compared to the four. Let's see. <sighs> yep, that looks guaranteed to me. Oh boy, okay. Huh. It doesn't hit grounded? The fuck? Huh. Interesting. That 
with stuff. No, this might be good. Alright, down back to my still be guaranteed then. Yeah, I'm not able to get up in time. Yeah, down back to is guaranteed. Oh, you mean really consistently. Okay. Well, I don't think it was as good a test that because now I can verify that down back two is still guaranteed. So that's good. Really good move. So what Angel was saying is he used to hit on the ground a lot more consistently in Tekken 6. Probably in DR2. I don't remember. So anyway, next on the list is uh, Quarter Circle Forward 1. And this is like wall juice right here, if I'm mistaken. Knock down a normal hit mid. Um, Stand guard. Negative 10 on the dot, on block. He's going into a stance, so that seems to frame data. Okay, it tracks to his, um, his uh, left. Not quite, only step. Tracks step to his left. Wow, I got to his back. And it doesn't track. So the track is kind of whatever. Uh, quarter circle for one, if you hold back, goes into flicker, as you can see. That's what's going on here. And uh, that makes it negative three on block. I don't know if flicker has any counter moves. Looks like he has a high crush, though. We can cancel flicker. So if he does the flicker cancel, he's only negative four, so he can make this move safe if he used the flicker, basically. Like this. Oops, not like that. Like this. Oop, not like that either. Alright, that should make it safe. I dug too long, maybe. Let's see if I can make this 100% safe, right? That looks good. Yep, look at that. Look at that. So negative 10, nothing, right? Uh, it might be my computer setup. I was saying, Angel, that uh, the reason when I stream I play on the PS4 is for this reason. I get frame rate dips like crazy. Let's talk about what you play on the stage, right? So anyway, as you can see, this shit is safe. It's just, uh, you maybe don't have, on block, you don't maybe, you don't have to, well, on hit it knocks you down, but on block, you don't have to really respect his follow-ups. You could always throw out a fast mid. I mean, he'd probably be able to sidestep, though, right? If he does that cancel and then sidesteps, that's hard to do, though. This music. Yeah, no, he can't sidestep. The first half of the song sucks, the second half is good. So yeah, this only goes to Flicker though, it doesn't go into Peekaboo here according to this. Still, really good move, especially at the wall, despite the lack of tracking. Alright, next we got Hellfire, I talked about this last time, this, this is unblockable. There's nothing to talk about really, you know what an unblockable is, right? Score circle back forward, plus two, plus three. Slow start up, I think it crushes highs. So that's worth knowing. It also leads back quite a bit. So don't whiff in front of him. Ha! Yeah, see it crushes eyes. Yeah, so you gotta watch for that lead back, but whatever. Just know that that's there. Cancel that too. I don't know how. Down back. Wait. Oh no, he can't cancel that. Sorry. I was looking at the course and pull out cancel. Alright. Um, next on the list is while running two. And that's Steve's while running pressure move. He doesn't have a slash kick, so you gotta use while running two. And his it's actually a really good move causes that sort of knockdown which means he has good follow-ups afterwards like that will like if you try to do anything get up wrong this will fucking catch you it might even be guaranteed um i don't know if that's one that you can hold back on oh 
Okay. Okay, that's not guaranteed. Unless he does a deeper dash. Nope. Still, good Oki. You can actually force the Albatross shit, right? Yeah, you can force the Albatross mix up. Does that even reach? No, it doesn't reach. So, I mean, you know. Maybe the mix up isn't as great as I thought. But you could be creative. You could have forced another while running too after it. Ugh. After it hits. And they would have to basically, to avoid the pressure, they would have to uh, stay down. And then if they stay down, then you can start catching it with like. Forward, forward, two, down, back, two, you know, the usual shit, right? Stand up into guard, right? If they try to wake up kick, it'll probably beat him out. Yeah, they can't wake up kick you if you uh, time it right. All right, so why running to a really good move, but uh, you can step it if it's too obvious, right? I don't even think you need a specific direction. Yeah, you don't even need a specific direction. You can sidewalk it. All right, so next we got two plus four. Oh, oh freezing, freezing. Two plus four plus one. This is probably a taunt, right? Two, what is it? Two plus four plus one. That's what I'm trying to do. Two plus four plus one is an attack, but what is it even talking about? I feel like I've seen this before, and I don't know what it's talking about. I've seen this before with another character where the uh, data here was an Elisa, right? RB Norway, I'm talking about. It says that there's, there's some sort of weird move, but there isn't. Two plus four plus one. That's two plus four plus three. That's a ton. And according to RB Norway, there's some frame data on it, like, like it's some sort of attack. Wild Running 2 is called Eraser. Good name for a move. Beat down. 442. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing it. Nothing, 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 nothing. Jabs. It's not a rage move, so. Uh, was it tech attack too? Hmm. Maybe. It's a possibility. Whatever. I'm just gonna move on to the next one then. Two plus four plus one. It says it's a low. Tech crouch. Negative 14 on block. It could just be some weird input shit that, like, mistaking it for another move. I don't know. All 
All right, next. While standing one, the wild man combo. While standing one, two. While standing one, two is negative uh, 13 on block. This doesn't force crotch, oddly enough, even though it looks like it should. Uh, then he has while standing one, one to keep it safe, but that's duckable. That's also a natural combo. Um, weird. It's listing a separate while standing one, and I can't tell if my monitor is dirty or if it's a comma after it. But, uh, mid high special. Is it because it's a uh, 10 hit? The ending of a 10 hit while standing 1 1. Oh, the frame rate is the same, but it says negative 3 instead. So, RB Norway is listing while standing 1 1 twice. I don't know why. It says there's a special version. Go to his 10 hits. I think this is the start of one of his 10 hits, isn't it? Spitfire combo! No, his 10 hits are both off of down forward. One. Might be a just frame. Well, the frame data is the same, so... Mid high, minus three on block, plus three on hit. So yeah, I don't know what that's about. Either way it goes, he has while standing one one, or while standing one two. Pick your poison, right? While standing 1-1 one, one is a natural combo, if you don't delay it. You can delay quite a bit. There you go. That's about as much as you can delay right there. You can also delay while standing 1-2 a lot. And the reason there's value in that is because the second hit by itself, if it were to counter hit, knocks down. That's not guaranteed, I guess. Maybe down back 3 is guaranteed. Uh, and that kind of help you, I guess, when people duck this, but, like, nobody should be ducking that. That's negative three. It's like a big whoop, right? Unless you get greedy, I mean, you know. While standing one, two is a very good move, though. It's a way above average for 11 frames. Maybe not the best in the game now that Leo has while standing four into her shoulder now. But it's definitely really high up there. So wild man combos plus three force crouch on hit. And then, uh, you know, I already showed you what it does on counter hit, but I don't think it's anything counter hit. Unless it's by itself. And it's 32 damage. Really, really, really high damage for 11 frame while standing. Yeah, that's it keeps him standing. I got a 13, see? That's 13 frames. As is that. 13 frames. So yeah, and if we see it's uh, 14, let's see. Sonic Fang was not a punish, so it's not 14. So it's negative 13 on block. All right, so next on the list is while standing two, which goes to weave. Counter hit launcher. So it's like one ox, except you can go to weave out of it. That's not a combo, even though it's floating him. That's because he's not recovering out of that. But yeah, while standing two sucks. <laughs> it is 14 frames. Uh, it is plus four. And the weird thing about this state is jabs float you, right? If you weren't to block, if you were not to block them. Yeah, but if you're trying to attack and you get counter hit, the jab doesn't float you. It's just if you're not holding back. You have to hold back to block after that. That's what's happening then. If you hold back to block, you're fine. It's a weird little mechanic. 
And Matt is more for other strings, like uh, Nina has a string that if the second it hits you, the built-in follow-up launches you. Oops. Let me test the tracking on while standing one. Okay. So while standing one and while standing two tracks to his right. So they track quite well up close. Yeah, both of these track quite well, huh? Maybe that makes it decent as a counter hit, so because you can do a ducking and cancel into it. Uh, like that. And it is safe on block, negative seven. All right, so while standing one tracks overall. While standing two, Lewis is a sidewalk to his left. Their right, the opponent's right. So, like remember, you could always cancel ducking and to crouch. And then when you cancel the full crouch, you can do the full crouch stuff. That's ducking one. You have to just hold down back to cancel. This was like a, a key thing for Steve in Tag 2 and Tekken 6. So he could go, he could uh, do his combo, cancel the ducking, and then, um, and then Wild Man combo for, for Bound. Like that. After canceling something, it's a ducking, whatever the hell it was, I don't remember. So yeah, that used to be way more important than it is. Now it might still be good for floor break combos. You might still need to do that kind of stuff. So keep that in mind. If you got something that cancels the ducking and you want to use that during a combo, you could go into while standing one too. And break the floor. Or just end the combo that way. It's not bad either. Post bound, right? So like, um, what was it, forward 2-1, right? I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. Okay, so if I go to ducking after that, that doesn't cancel ducking, though, so it might not work, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, too far. Too far. Yep. Jinkinator definitely. Only because I committed to doing this. So even if like there's only a few people watching now, I'm gonna upload it to the YouTube. People seem to want to watch rank more than uh, than tutorials. <laughs> <clears throat> so while saying to those go to weave, and the frame rate is the same apparently. On hit, this is uh, plus four, which is not showing on the bot. There it is, plus four. Same thing if you go to weave. And uh, weave one in, uh, in either direction. If you hit one at a weave, that's a 14 frame uh, counter hit launcher, right? Um, oh no, okay, and that way it's you gotta hit two. If you go left, you hit two to get the shoulder, right? Yeah, okay. That's a 14 frame counter hit launcher. You could set up off of that on normal hit. If they do anything slower than a jab, if they exchange with you, unfortunately, you don't get the, you have to do the second hit to get the counter hit launcher, right? Oh, he doesn't get the launcher on that side? He only gets it on the other side. Okay, so it's, um... Yeah, that's the launcher. So if weave right, one, two. That's counter hit launcher. Dirty damage. That's a lot of damage. I didn't realize he got so much damage on that launcher. Alright. Um, let's hire out my hand here. So, next on the list is full cross down forward one. That's, go that's the one that goes to peekaboo. Uh, this is plus two on hits, and I think it's the same thing when he's a pick when you do it again, right? Oops. Okay, yeah, same thing. Same for you as when he's an actual pick -a So, is this a way to go into pick from crouch and keep pressure? Really good tool, really good tool. It gives him a good full crouch mix-up with that, which is pretty risky. Full crouch down forward two. So, crush down forward one is negative 12 on block. 
Uh, I think the tracking on this is limited. It's been a while since I tested this. This was a tag two thing. I remember when JDCR was screaming tag two, he was teaching people how to deal with uh, Steve's peekaboo stance using step guard to make him more predictable. Let me see if that's the case here. All right, we're on stand guard. Doesn't look like it's gonna be a thing here. Yeah, fuck that. Sidewalk left my work. Ugh. Man, I'm putting myself at what, negative five and he's not getting around it? Negative four, how about negative four? Yeah, that tracks very well. Really annoying. I think special encounter is still plus two. Oh, um, I'd of course go back for a Korean backdash because Steve is not a sway character. If, if we were a sway character, I would be doing it like this. Using down. Because down is fine now, you still retain your, your auto guard. That's why. I made a video about it, Jinkinator. You can cancel with down now because you can backdash and retain your auto guard. So you'll still block low. I'm just like reckless and lazy because I don't play sway characters, so I don't need to worry about that. Sure, it makes my back dash a little more vulnerable though, like one or two more frames if I were to perfectly do it. Okay, so anyway. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh, I gotta make a get hit by that. Ah! That's different from this, isn't it? It is! Alright! Uh, 12 damage. Right? 16. Okay, that's still better. Down back 2 is still better. <laughs> I forgot. That's uh, down plus 1 plus 2. It looks exactly the same as this, but it's like a grounded hitting. It's one of those moves that only work grounded, like a stomp. But it's one more damage than this. Alright. Well, try the, try the down cancel like I just showed you, Trickinator. It might be easier. It might be more to your liking. Because on a, uh, if you're using the Korean stick, there's no gate. It's a circle. So it's harder to like really figure out where the diagonal, the perfect diagonal input is. It's much easier on a hexagon gate or a square gate, right? But on a Korean stick, that's way fucking harder to find, right? So, but down is not hard to find. Down is way easier to find, so cancel with down. Right, easy, easy peasy, death stroke. So I was talking about full cross down forward one. Uh, negative 12 on block. Let's have a crouch guard. Oops, that's not <laughs> full cross down forward one. Yeah, there you go. Negative 12 on block. Steve's only gonna get wild man out of it, so why bother testing? <clears throat> wild man combo, baby. And then full cross down forward two, that's his actual full cross launcher. This used to have a different input, I think. Or maybe I'm remembering something else. Whatever. Uh, solid launcher is slow, unfortunately. So Steve is only going to launch you off of a block load that is negative 18. This is why I used to abuse Steve with Marduk. Marduk had a 14 frame low that tracked in both sides. And it counted as a knee, so Steve can't low parry it. So he either had to block it and get this, where other characters would get launched. Or he would have to read and get his old shitty up forward too. Now he has his really amazing up forward too, so. Go Steve. Uh, either way it goes, foot cross down forward two. Has a lot of range. How's the tracking on this baby? Let's see. Tracks well on that side, looks like. Not quite. All right, track step pretty decently. Probably because it's slow. Yeah, it's probably because it's slow. You can probably step it if you step later than that. Right? 
right? So if I were to test now, haha, -ha, right? All right, I'm trying. I'm trying to see if I can step this if I just step it a little later. Yeah, there it is. See. Yeah. We just have to step away from it, but we can definitely step it. Either way it goes, you can just walk this shit. So. And I think to the right was the same direction I walked around the um, the non forward too, right? Uh, the regular, no, the wild standings. I'm sorry. Uh, what's going on in the chat? You have a cake stick, yep. Gate only really matter when you're pressing into the gate, otherwise it doesn't matter what shape it is. If you press all the way to the side, it's just pressing enough to activate the micro switch. Yeah. My micro switch for down is fucked up though. You see when I shake the stick, he goes down. He goes down. Alright. Um Next, we got. So that was full crash down forward two. Oh, what was it on block? Let's see. Down, full crash down forward two is negative 15 on block. Ooh. Save this one for fucking ducking and block punishment. Uh, block punishment right here. So when people duck a very, very slow recovering high, this is what you do right here. You know? Bam, right? Otherwise, wild man combos. Play it safe. You get launched for using this shit. Um. Oh, that's a punish. Yeah, it's a punish. That's not a punish. So, 15 frames. 15 frames. Go, Steve. You got a 15 frame punish. It's pretty good. It's not a launcher, but it's good. You're about 20 uh, more damage from away from it being launcher damage. But 42 is nothing to sneeze at, right? 42 is good damage. All right, next we got the f okay opponent down. Basically, that's his grounded only low right there. So when you're down, you can pre you can try go for it by pressing down plus one plus two. According to RB Norway, it's only negative eleven on block, which is nice. Plus two on hit. So if they were to tech in a situation when he did this, like when they're on the floor and they tech, then they get hit by the low. It's only plus two, so it's not that great. But whatever, he has it. And uh, that's all for his regular moves. Now we're going into the stance. The good old stance stuff. First, we're going to go with Weave left. What I didn't know about Weave, apparently he could go into Flicker. Look at that, Flicker. So Weave left 1. Mid. Negative 10 on block. Weave left 1-1, one, one, which I didn't even know until just now. is negative 13. I didn't know this wasn't safe. I see Steve players use this all freaking day. And he can't cancel off of that second one, so it's always unsafe. Interesting. I've, I've blocked this so many times and let it go unpunished. Look at that. Fucking Steve. Okay. Good to know. Uh, it is natural combo. If I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, it's a natural combo. This would wall splat too, of course. Next we have uh, left weave one forward one. Okay, natural combo also, and he gets a third one out of that. Also, that's all a natural combo. Wow, three hits, natural combo. And then uh, that could, if you could, uh, that is plus three on block. So that's uh. Oh, it ends with a high though. And that could go into flicker to make it plus four instead of plus three. So that's flicker and that's plus uh, four. Alright. Have any like 15 frame move at a flicker for me to test this? Doesn't look like it. 
Alright, press all the time. Just pressing enough to activate the. Oh no, that's from the phone. Alright, um. I guess I'll wait till I get to his flicker moves to see what his uh, true options are out of that. But, like usual, he could cancel to flicker and then cancel out of flicker, but in this case, there's no real reason to. Unless you want to do regular moves. I mean, if you're going to go to flicker at us in the first place, you're doing it because it's going to be plus four. Otherwise, you'll be plus three if you don't want to flicker. So, there's no reason to use this flicker cancel unless it's for a combo of some sort, right? This is a pretty good string. The song is tight. I like the song. This is uh, PSO episode two. All right, um, so that's left. Uh, by the way, left weave one goes to flicker also, but this goes to flicker at negative uh, four, negative three, negative three. Yeah, negative three, and then you can cancel the flicker into negative four. So it's basically a way to make the one safe, I guess. Make flicker one safe if you want. If you just want to go for a flicker one for some reason. Ha! I have a flicker one one. Uh, sorry, left weave one one, not flicker one one. Ugh, it's late. That's a good move. Even if it is negative thirteen, it's still a really good move. Cause uh, you go you you do side step left into weave left. You're doing a double side step. I've talked about this before. So you get an easy with confirm bomb bomb just by hitting one. You go uh uh. If they press anything one one. Uh uh. Oh, they press something. Or if you get to their side, it'll hit them, and they won't be able to block it like that. They wouldn't be able to block it. And it's good damage. Thirty six damage is really good damage. Um, wow, look at the clipping. You see this little roll clip in there. Uh, it doesn't look like you get anything. A unique kind of knockdown. I was trying to see if you get one of those knockdowns where you can pick up near the wall with the wall to your right. Doesn't look like it, but it does wall splat. So, yeah, no, yet another wall splat option for Steve. He has no shortage of that shit. So we got two good miss wall splat. Quarter circle forward one. Uh, left weave one one. Quarter circle one has good range too. Boom. Okay, so you got left weave two, and this goes into ducking. Left weave two forward. What how is this going? To be? No, it goes into peekaboo. All right. And then left weave two one, which is a counter hit combo. Bam! Right. Okay, nothing guaranteed. <sighs> left weave two one plus four forces crouch. Delay that second hit though, which is useful because the second hit on counter hit does a knockdown for yet another down back two. I imagine if not down back two, then the down plus one plus two is gonna work, right? Uh, well, maybe not down back two, right? Okay, good. I like that he's blocking. Yeah, there you go. Down plus one plus two is guaranteed there. So let's see, uh, left weave 2 by itself, negative 5 on block, left weave 2 into peekaboo is 0 on block, whoo boy, 0 to plus 2 depending on the range, 0 by itself is really good, because peekaboo, remember I told you guys, peekaboo 2 was going to stop people from punching, it won't stop cross jabs, but that'll stop cross jabs, so yeah. You're, you, you could actually apply your pressure after this, and then, you know, when you get them afraid of doing things slower than, like, a, a 10 frame punch, you see, like, they can start working into peekaboo one jabs. You know, and then, yeah, then he has that. Uh, uh, that's a fuck with them. Like, is he gonna end it or is he not? Anyway, you get the idea. And we got left weave two by itself. I said it was negative five. Okay, uh, left weave two one is negative eight. It's left weave. This is actually safe on block apparently. Negative eight. Yep. Ooh. Next move. Uh, all right. Let me make sure that's zero. Let's see. Twelve frame. What's twelve frame for Steve? Um, two, right? Yeah, two is. Peekaboo. 
There it is. So I should exchange with a 12 frame here. Alright, maybe I'm too slow. This is going to be really awkward to do because he has a built-in one that he could delay. Looks like I'm getting a negative one at best. Alright, have a good night, dude. You know where this is going later on the YouTube. I do have a little bit of work for tomorrow, but I'll stream when I get back. I don't know what I'm going to stream. I'll pick a Persona 5. Ah. I feel like shit. Yeah, ugh. it's hard to make this zero. Like make make the uh, you know without delaying my input. Ugh, yeah. By the way, goes I, I made it negative one. You know I exchanged with a thirteen frame mid. So same thing applies. This will stop people from punching you. Pikachu too. Which happens to be a high homing counter hit tool too. So yeah. Good shit. Next on the list, we have Right Weave. Right Weave 1. And this is a counter hit launcher, like I said earlier. Right Weave 1, 2. Right Weave. Maybe the 12 on block, right, uh, which is the, the launcher. The Right Weave 1 by itself, the shoulder is negative 5 to negative 3, it says here. And then this also goes to the peekaboo with the same frame date, apparently. Be hauled forward. This might be easier to do. Maybe this is just negative one and it's wrong. The Tekken bot is gonna give you give you good freight data for this. Uh, maybe it's actually negative one on block because I'm exchanging only with a 13 frame, not a, not with a 12 frame. So um, either way, go same th same deal. You go into Peekaboo. It's uh, it's actually plus nine on hit though if you go into Peekaboo, which is nasty. Oh yeah, look at that lag. So like, what's the slowest shit from Peekaboo? Um, 18 frames. Let's cancel it, right? Yeah, plus eight. Plus eight. Is that what it says here? No, it says plus nine. So I think RB Norway is one frame off. I'm getting a consistent one frame less than what it's saying. Negative one on block, uh, plus eight on hit. Maybe I'm a little slow on my inputs. It's totally a possibility, but you know. All right, so right weave, one, two, this is the launcher, right? Talked about that already, negative 12. go. Oh, that punish? Negative 13. So it's negative 13. Good to know. You're not going to get launched for it unless you're fighting a god mode Kazuya player, but it's worse than I thought. That's still a really good move. That's still a really, really, really freaking good move. 14 frame counter hit tool out of weave. Like, you set it up for all, from all kinds of shit. That whiffs, but if they were to swing after that, that's a counter hit right there, right? Out of his jab punish, right? If I were to jab after that for some reason. Well, on hit. Well, wow, he crouched under. If you were to jab punch me, and I swing. See? Boom, you get launched. If I swing with anything. Uh, on block, I can't jab. <laughs> I tried a 1-2, I got counter hit launch. Of course you're gonna risk, uh, on block, you're gonna risk that, so. Let's see, what is that really? Okay, 17 frame caught him. Okay, uh, stomp is what? How fast is stomp? 16 frames? Do I have an 18 frame? Uh, 
17. Well, anyway, I don't have an 18 frame. But anyway, 17 frame interrupts it. So, on block, it's like really shitty. But if people like to jab you after shit like that, you can blow them up with that. So, that's good to know. It's good, that's good shit. If they just single jab, though, they're not going to get countered. So, they can block it and punish you. So, don't get too crazy with it. But, you know, know that that's there. If you weave at negative frames, you could still uh, score uh, that counter hit if they do a 1-2, because the weave is going to duck. Alright, so next we got uh, right weave 2. Oh yeah, here's another uh, wall splatting tool. Power mid, but it is negative 13. I think it needs to be safe, isn't it? Not a punch. Okay, this is actually negative 13. <laughs> I was testing 14 frames in case. Oh, you saw that, right? It, it, it uh, whiffed. Alright, so the range on this could get funky. Yeah, so you gotta be careful when you block this. Because Steve, he leads and swings forward, but then he comes back. He doesn't move him forward. You see that? He's still kind of back where he swung it. You know, he's not really moving forward. So if you block it shallow, you could miss. See, the jab misses. I had to hold forward to get the jabs there. Alright, that's pretty much his weave stuff. Thankfully, his weave stuff is not too complicated. The left weave had more options than I thought, but the right weave is uh, straightforward. He only has one, two, counter hit. He has right weave two, and then he has right weave one into peekaboo. Right weave one forward. Next we have Albatross. The spin. And if you hold forward out of it, you see you go into peekaboo. And uh, when you're in peekaboo, you can still Albatross. Hey, it looks cool. Alright, uh, anyway, Albatross has uh, two attacks. This, which used to be a counter hit juggle starter in Tekken 5.0. I don't think you get it in VR. And then Albatross down two, which uh, according to RB, you know, is worse on block than the regular down back two, but I'm suspecting that that's not right. It says negative 14. Uh, which I can't really test with Steve, can I? Negative 12. That's a 14 frame mid. Oh shit, old Guffalo. Are we no ways wrong again? Yes, 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 indeed. It's negative 12. Just like regular down back two. Maybe this is before they buffed down back to. I don't know. I don't know how late into Tekken 7 they buffed it. Maybe it's buffed is 7.0. I don't know. Anyway, Albatross up. You could spin upward like a slight sidestep, you see. More than a slight sidestep, but whatever. And you can go down. So you can go either way and you recover standing. Or it's like, I don't know if you hold down. Nope, you recover standing regardless of if you hold down or not. Uh, and there's no attacks out of that. You're just standing and that's it. So that's just some weird fake out shit you could throw out on people to mess with them. But um, you could go into peekaboo also if you hold forward after that console. Uh, Albatross down or up one, two spins. I don't know what this is talking about. Let me look at this move list. Albatross, where are you? Albatross up here. Quick spin. There it is. It's called quick spin. So 
Go forward, up, down. Okay, this is the one I'm looking for. Ah, he does have an option out of it. I don't know why he didn't come out for me. Okay. So this probably has different frame data for our guys, because that knocks down a normal hit. So that's probably not like down to. Okay, so I have to match it way earlier. Okay, so the low is only negative 11? Huh. And the mid is negative 10. Interesting. Well, it does have to come out of two spins, so I suppose. Uh, It says negative 12 on, on, on the second shot. I don't have any way to test negative 12 shot. <clears throat> well, whatever. I'll take their word for it, right? I have no 12 frame. <laughs> There's not too many 12 frame while standing moves anyway. There's like dragging off shoulder and this while standing one and shit like that. And the uh, mid is supposed to be one. Uh, supposed to be negative 10, right? Man, that comes out fast. Oof, don't swing your jab at that. It says negative 8 on the bot. That's safe. I'm not punching it at all. So, RB know is wrong about that one. It's wrong pretty often, I'm noticing. Alright, next we have ducking. Do it forward plus three, forward plus four, full crouch, down forward plus three, full crouch, down forward plus four. That's ducking. Ducking one, body blow. Safe on block. Counter hit juggle starter. You get that weird ass angle though, so the combos you got to do out of it are going to be weird, right? But, uh, you know, that's how, that's how it goes. I don't know what the combo would be, but maybe you go right to flicker. That stupid dance. Whatever. Uh, back one is so Yeah, that would be it, right? Maybe. Yeah, there you go. Back one to flicker one, down one. Uh, negative seven on block. Let's see if this is right. I know it's safe, but is it negative seven? Boss says negative seven also. I beat him out there. Fortunately that's like a let me try cross jab. The spacing is not gonna really be in my favor though. Okay, there we go. It actually worked out. So I exchanged with 17 frame move, negative seven is correct. Next, we got ducking two. Um, all right, let me test the track on the next shit. It's gonna be hard to do it though. So this actually like tracks well to his left, probably, right? Yeah. First of all, the ducking aligns him already. So yeah, look at that. Ugh. That shit, if he can't step, you have to time it really weird. Alright, you have to be like really early with it. It'd be going to your left, it looks like. Really hard to sidestep this freaking move. Also, because of that knockdown. Yeah. That whole time when I'm holding my stomach, I can't really do anything. So, what that means is if you're near a wall and you land that. Um, I think a wall splats, I'm not sure, but if, even, if it, even if it doesn't, it's going to cause that same stun. He'll have guaranteed follow-ups, depending on your range, your distance from the wall. So, keep that one in mind, right? Then we got Ducking 2. This is the big one, right? Oh yeah, 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two goes to Ducking, by the way. I forgot to say that last time. 
It's negative 10, but if you cancel it to ducking, 1, 2, 1, 2, it'll uh, go underneath people trying to jab you. And you go to weave, too. See? Of course, that opens you up to get mid counters. And you'll always, Crop Stab will option select like, punish both options, so. Make it a 14. Too slow. Alright, 15 frames is not punishing. One more time. Okay, so negative 14. Punish. So this has always been negative 14, I just wanted to be sure. Um, maybe not always, but. Uh, really in the last game it was. I don't, I don't really know before then. I don't know how the tracking is on this shit. Um, if it's as good as ducking one. Not really. You're not too early. Tracks really well to one side. Steve's tracking in general is quite good. So next we have ducking one plus two. Oh, that's the fucking. All right, this is only for wall combos. So that whole thing is um, negative 12. He has a special version of that. I don't know if he has to be supercharged. I know he has a special version of that. Maybe I'm maybe I'm mixing it up with Brian. Pretty sure Steve has one where he does like twice as many punches. I don't know. Maybe I'm mixing it with Brian. Brian has back one two one two one two one two. All that shit. <sighs> Whatever. That's really good. A really good wall combo. If you watch Ty say, you know that already. Uh, negative twelve on block says RV Norway. Let's see if I can record it. Bro. To get it on block here. Alright. I feel like this is easier to do than it used to be. I used to have a lot of trouble doing this. Ugh. Oh my god. So the spacing. There's an effort combo. Alright, well, you can do that, I guess, if you block it. If you're against the wall, you could probably get a better punish, because the pushback makes it weird for Steve, so. I can't get I can't reach him with anything. Anyway. Ducking goes into ducking forward so it goes into weak. Oh, this is a different move. Um, okay, so next is duck forward two. Ah, this is where... Okay, it's not here yet, but it's an extended duck. But anyway, he has this right hook. And on counter hit, that gets a double starter. It's similar to back one. It's only negative four. Uh, and he could go into weave out of this. Uh, ducking forward two. Yeah, he only goes into weave. See? So.
Okay, that's how I don't want it. Just like before with the 112, you don't want to jab out of that. Okay, how bad is it on block? 17 frame exchange with a 14 frame move. So he's at negative three? Three? Is that what I'm saying? It says plus one if you go into weave on block. I don't know about that. If my 17 frame move is beating out his 14 frame move, it's my advantage. I'm sorry, we're exchanging. My slow move is exchanging with his 14 frame move, right? Like, that should be exchanging right now. Oh, sorry, uh, down forward one should be exchanging. So I'm going to say it's negative three. Um. Yeah, consistently. So it's negative three on block. And if you were to counter hit, and still going to weave, you could probably still convert, I think. Off of that. Hmm. Maybe not. Nah, maybe you can't convert if you come into it. Yeah, that's why you go to the shoulder block and wait. That picks up. So yeah, if you were to commit to the weave, it seems like your juggling options would be pretty damn limited, right? Unless this is a tailspin move? I don't think it is. Maybe you can combo after that, though. Oh, PSU! Nope. If you can, it'll be weird. It'll be like you gotta do some weird shit to pick up after that. Alright. So anyway, yeah, forward two into weave, negative three on block. Forward two by itself, negative four on block, right? Negative seven, <laughs> all right. Yeah, negative seven on block. Sorry, Arby Norway, you're wrong yet again. Alright. Negative seven on block. Negative three if you go into weave. Next, we got extended ducking. You do that by doing ducking, and then you press forward plus three, or forward plus four again. So, yeah, you can mash it out. It comes out later than you think. Better to mash it. Oh, you can hold it. I'm holding forward and I'm pressing three till the four, and I'm just holding the four after I press it. So I think four till the three, you can hold it. Insomno tech. Oh my god. I'm too tired to fucking have 200 people watching me right now. It's fucking 3 a.m. Anyway, fuck that. So extended ducking, right? You hold forward. You press tilt, then you press the other kick button. Thanks a lot, Char. And uh, have a good night, because I know you're about to go to sleep. <sighs> Next, we got extended ducking one. That's the body blow. That's the mid. Negative four on blocks is RB No Way. I don't know if that's right. Let's see if this has any special uh, counter properties. It do. Same thing as ducking one by itself, right? 
it's the same move. Oh no, he gets the blue sparks when he goes to the extended ducking. And um, 17, 21. Ooh, knocks him on his ass. Does that give him anything for free? What's going on, people? I'll try not to bore you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Char. I can't even tell. Is that Ricky? Ricky in black and white. <laughs> Quick back row. All right. Ah. Fuck. Give me the blue sparks. Yeah, so that's guaranteed. I don't know if he gets anything special. Let me see what's up with his rage drive after that, right? <coughs> his rage drive is down four, three plus four, right? Okay, it is. So. I'm not used to doing this shit because it's so delayed. Fuck. Alright. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Hold it. Hmm. Maybe I'm too slow. Yeah. So you can't do anything with that. What about his rage, uh, super? Is it 1 plus 2? Or down for 1 plus 2, some shit like that? 1 plus 2. Alright, let's try that. Is that gonna reach? Nope. Let's try dashing into it. No, it looks like it should work, but it doesn't. Alright, let's see what else we got up in here. Let's turn off Rage. So, extended ducking, I already know, is how you do the unblockable with Steve. So, you do extended ducking forward two. And on normal hit, it does that. It gives you the knockout, which is the counter hit of the regular ducking forward two. But, if you go into it again, there you go. That's how you get it. You go right back into ducking because that forward two cancels into ducking again. And I just realized you could just kind of hold forward plus the kick. You don't even have the piano like I thought. Right? And that's how you get that. Alright, so that's extended ducking forward two. Using a block forward. It says plus three on block, which makes no sense. Fucking RB Norway, man. She got nothing. And then he has the uh, Blue Sparks Uppercut, which is still negative 14 on block, apparently. Let me make sure about that shit. Oh, I'm holding forward too, sorry about that. That is a high, by the way, so you gotta duck that shit. Ha! Alright, make sure it's not 15. Oh, forward one pistol, damn it. Okay, so yeah, negative 14. Same business. So extended ducking is just powered up versions of his moves, but the frame data seems to be mostly the same. Like, they do the counter hit properties of the regular ducking, it looks like, on, but on normal hit. Um, so extended ducking forward to also goes into weave. I wonder how much, I don't think he gets anything for free off of the weave, though. Like, if he were to do this shit. Oop, not that. Not that either. I'm fucking up. It's 3 a.m. debuffed. Like, I don't think any of that is guaranteed. Yeah, I didn't think so. How about the 14 frame option? Nah, you know he had the range for that shit. So you gotta go into the ducking two again, or the ducking forward two rather, and it knocks them on their ass. Uh, extended ducking one plus two. Oh, is that how he gets the blue sparks the, out of the uppercut? All right, let's see. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe not. He does the same shit. All right. I thought he had an extended version of that shit, but with the blue sparks on the end, but I guess not. Or maybe I just don't know how to do it. Uh, so that's the extended ducking shit. Let's go on to the next one. Now we got peekaboo stance. Good, I've been wondering how the hell you're supposed to get around that in this game. So four or three before to go into it in neutral. We got peekaboo one, 12 frames, right? Yeah, 12 frame high. 
Uh, it says negative two on block here. Let's see if that's true. Let's record it. What music is this? This is from Fantasy Star Universe. I forget what this song is called right now, but. So. There should be a. Front of the shift stand with 14 frame move. Yep, okay, so negative 2 on block. Correct. Next, we got peekaboo 1 2, which is 0 on block, apparently. Ah, that's gonna be weird to test because he has a built in one. Uh, hmm. Peekaboo 4 2, that's gonna be a punch parry, so I can't test that. What else do we got here? What's peekaboo 2 by itself? Does he have a peekaboo 2? Oh, no, that's, that's the homing. Peekaboo forward 2 is the uppercut. Uh, well, let's just try it. Maybe that's the right timing. Mm. It says zero on uh, block, but it's hard to time it. I think I just might believe RB Norway and the Tekken bot. They're aligning here. Well, no, they're not aligning. The Tekken bot doesn't know what the fuck. There it is. It says zero. Okay, I just saw it. <laughs> Char, this specific song is called... Uh, I'll just throw a link up. Control V. There you go. That's the current song. I need a swig of water up in here. I've been drinking coffee, so I'm parched as fuck. So, pick up a 1 2, 0 on block, plus 8 on hit. Pick up a 1 jab is plus 9 on hit, so. Can't fuck with that frame data. You can't challenge him. And uh, ch challenging the one two is dangerous. Challenging Peekaboo in general is dangerous because he always has the Peekaboo two, which will punch parry you. It was a baki. So you gotta always be careful about that shit, right? So if you try to challenge that shit with a with a jab, there goes my game freezing again. It puts you on your ass just like that. And I'll just interrupt the own counter hit too, and it'll give him a juggle. So, you gotta always be careful about Peekaboo. But it's mainly the highs that are really fucking dangerous. He has mids that are launchers, but if uh, if it's the way it was, like it was before, then the mids are relatively linear. Let's see if, uh, let's see if it's uh, the same thing going on here. Then he has that mid, 1-2-1, one, one, and that's actually where it ends, and he stays in Peekaboo the whole time. That man is negative 13. I've, I've been blocking this so many times and I didn't know that shit. Is the song playing backwards? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? I'm gonna... Oh my god, it's playing backwards. Let me skip to the next song. That's a bad link. Yeah, that's a fucked up version of that song. I just linked you, Char. Sorry about that. <laughs> So pick it with one two one. It's negative thirteen. I ain't know this whole fucking time. Do you know how many times I blocked that shit and didn't punish it? Fuck me, man. Just like just like this shit. I ain't know that was negative thirteen. I let that shit go and punish so freaking often. All right, so so yeah, and he's, he's stuck in peekaboo. So I don't know. You could cancel out of that, but yeah, fuck. Negative 13. Does that have any counter properties? I think, oh, uh, wow, I can't even swing after it. Oh, wow, if, uh, it says it does here, but I can't swing after that shit. I'll just, if I duck though, if I try to dick jab him in. Nah, that jails. So peekaboo one, two jails, and you're forced to block the third hit. So you can just block punish that shit. Is that natural? Okay, it's not natural. Maybe on counter hit. Okay, no. The second hit on counter hit, though. Yeah, the second hit on counter hit makes the third hit guaranteed. How do I go into peekaboo with uh, only... This is plus two, right? Yeah, that's plus two. So that's just the tracking on this shit, right? So the last hit apparently is supposed to knock you down on counter hit, right? Yeah, there you go. Okay. 
the string follows you when you sidestep it. And you have to go your right. Yeah. So step guard it was the thing to do against Peekaboo. But now that he has that homing move, I don't know if he had that before, that punch parry. That I don't know if it was a homing move before, but it's a pretty fast move, so maybe step guard isn't the best. I don't know, let's look further into this. Uh, Peekaboo 2 or Up Back 2. Uh, I don't know why Up Back 2 is listed as an input for this, but. Oh, because that's Up 2. Gotcha. Uh, absorbs one hit higher mid, as it says here. Uh, I don't know if it absorbs a kick, but Steve doesn't have a kick, so. He has this fucking slow ass kick, that's it. Okay, according to this, 14 frames. Yeah, so that 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 seems like it would blow up step guard in me. Because if you were to go into this at plus two, you got a 12 frame window to get around the homie move to uh, to step guard. Let me see if I can get a significant step guard out of that visually. Oh nope, that's not forward two. All right. Nah, I'm barely able to move. Okay. Okay, that jab is linear enough that you might be able to get around at least both with a with a small sidestep. Yeah. Hmm. You have to be like that bam real fast. All right. Let's look further into this. Oh, Donkey Kong Country. Alright, uh, so we got 1 to 1, negative 13. Pick up a 1 plus 2. That's the throw. That's the throw track. <clears throat> this shit, is, the sound quality is awful on this shit. Yeah, the throw tracks, so you gotta be ready to break. Okay. It's an 11 frame throw according to RB Norway. Next we got Pikachu forward too. That's this shit. I don't know if he gets anything for free unless you're near the wall for this. Like, um... I don't know if he has a way to convert this. If only I had a Steve player around to tell me. Either way, even if he didn't, if you were near the wall, he'd definitely be able to do something with that. If not wall spat you, it'll keep him close enough for him to score something. But he stays in peekable after doing that shit, so. Let's pick up a forward two. Let's see. Negative 13 on block. I didn't know that was a safe. It looks like it should be unsafe, so I should have known. Pushes you back like crazy. Like Gigas could punish this, I imagine, but maybe not so much Steve. Yeah, no. Alright. So if you were to get more ward at the wall, I imagine it would push back less on block. Why not? Let's check this right now. My social show wall stage. Let's still speculate. I just updated my freaking graphic card firmware, uh, my drivers rather, excuse me, before loading the game and now getting this weird like freezing randomly every couple of minutes. I hope it doesn't happen when I'm actually playing matches. That would really fucking suck. We're gonna go to the wall. It's gonna wall splat though. Yeah, I don't want to go right up against the wall. let anyone stream. Not only do they just let anyone stream, they let anyone have a fucking sub button. 
They let everyone have a fucking emote. They affiliated me because people watched my Persona stream. Four people watched my Persona stream for one week. My Persona 5 came out during spring break. And that got me affiliated, just like that. Alright, it, it looks like he'll get a wall splat even if you're not up against the wall, so... That's pretty much it, but in this situation, it, you probably won't get the pushback, right, if they block it. So let me put myself up against the wall, and then I'm gonna block it, and see what happens. I still got some people hanging out from Char Stream, but if anyone has any questions, if you're new to Tekken, or even if you're not new to Tekken and you think I could help you, feel free to ask. Free of charge, I promise. Oops. I'm no fucking Gutex. I'll teach you for free. Okay, so negative 13. Alright, good. Confirmed. I think he has some sort of conversion off of that. It looks like he should get something if it's that unsafe. I don't know. Well, I won't call you a bitch unless you act like a bitch. Unless you act like an F crush. Then I'll consider it. Let me see uh, if I could test the tracking on this thing. This song's tight. I wish the uh, audio quality on these songs were better. This Donkey Kong Country shit. Yeah, shit's linear as fuck. Look at this. Oof. Right when I say it, I got hit. <laughs> Trying to swing at him. But yeah, alright. And how uh, slow does it recover? I guess it's because the mid stage pushback. That's like a good reason to use this movie. It has a lot of range. And, uh, and look at that, that's good range, and that pushback pretty much makes it safe, right? So it's not as bad as it seems, but I don't know. Is it crush? Yeah, it crushes. Oh, and it's actually uh, the step guard. All right, you, you'll block it off of the step guard. Step guard, right? Okay. So. Left guard right, you're gonna block it. Yeah, no problem, Psycho. It's all good. Feel free to follow me. The big thing you have request is that you have shit taste in music. Is that you don't have shit taste in music? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I give F Crush a lot of shit because uh, he's a bitch. But uh, he's better than me in second. I'm, as of right now, at least. Maybe not as of right now. I haven't played him in a while. Last time I played him, he fucked me up, though. He's still a bitch. Of course, he's still a bitch. Forever on my shit list after the Overwatch days. You can look up some clips from my channel from like a year ago to see why. Anyway. Back to this. Alright, so back to peekaboo stance. So I'm trying to find anti peekaboo stance while while seeing, you know, while seeing if I give any advice on how to use it. It seems like peekaboo stance is more buff in this game than it was in, in Tag 2. I don't know what it is about it. I'm feeling like it is. Uh, I remember when JDCR was streaming Tag 2, he would talk about peekaboo sidestep right into ducking to like stop peekaboo. But the low. Huh. I can't get enough of a sidestep because of that. I'm afraid of that high. I don't know. Maybe I should make it good. Let's see what else he has going on in peekaboo. Peekaboo. Forward 2 1. So this has a follow up. There we go. I forgot about that shit. All right. I really forgot about that shit. I thought that punch, that second punch, was a move by itself. So, <clears throat> that's uh, 35 damage. What happens at the wall? Alright, no following that up at the wall, though. Uh, can you get a far away wall splat with that? Maybe from here? Uh, seems like you do. From further than I'm thinking here. Maybe from even from here. Uh, maybe not. Alright, let's try from here. Hmm. I feel like there's a sweet spot where you might be able to get a wall combo out of that, but even if you don't, I mean, at least you get him at the wall and you can follow it up with Oki. Wall Oki. Forward 2 wanted to grab? What are you talking about? Like, peekaboo grab? 
Well, what, I, what I can tell you this, uh, if you're talking about Steve, right? The one thing I know so far when uh, when I was looking through his move list is on block, one of the uh, better transitions to either peekaboo or flicker is 2 1. Because he's actually something like plus 3 on block. Although I was only able to get maybe plus 2 for peekaboo, but it definitely got plus 3 for flicker. And in both stances, he has a 12 frame. So 2 1, flicker 1, uh, flicker one and peekaboo 1 are both 12 frames. So they're going to beat out a lot of options, right? And then it uh, helps you set shit up. And then in the case of Peekaboo, you always have Peekaboo 2 as a counter hit tool, which is 14 frames. And you're at plus 3, so they do anything slower to try to go on it. Like, for example, they try to go on the high with an instant while standing. Maybe you'll clip up with that shit. If they try to sidestep the, the jab, press something, that will counter hit them. And uh, you got to juggle. So this is the noob killer right here. Hell, this isn't just a noob killer. This will kill an intermediate player, too. I just don't know the matchup. Anyone who doesn't know the Steve matchup, this right here on, on block is the juice right here. You know what I'm saying? Hold back to go into Flicker. Or 2-1, hold forward to go into Peekaboo. So that's one thing I can say. He has a really good 10-frame Punisher, too. And apparently Steve has a 15-frame Punisher now. That's 15. He didn't have that before. So, good for Steve. All right. Back to Peekaboo. So peekaboo forward two one minus question mark going to RB no way. Let's see what happens when I block it. The first hit pushes you back. It makes you wonder. Mm, can you sidestep that second hit if he does it? Oof, jeez. How about backdash? Oof, that has so much reach. Man, I'm trying to. That. Oof. Uh, I'd rather sidestep it though. Mm. See if there's a timing. Nah, can't see. Seems like I can't get around it. I bet you, uh, Josie could. Uh... Whoa, there it goes. See, even in this stage, I, I thought it was maybe the water stage that did that shit, but my game just freezes randomly now, like that. Anyway, I bet she, Josie, might be able to get over that shit with her uh, butterfly edge, but it seems like you can't sidestep it, man. Let's see if the AI does it, because the AI has like a perfect sidestep. Let's see, sidewalk left first. Yeah, nah, you gotta block that shit. You probably armored through it, or you could counter punch parry as you did this there, as I, as you saw I did just there, and uh, that's what you do against that shit. Maybe I should test it out against the wall. What does it say on me, Bob? Oh, he's trying to size some stuff. Guard on, guard on. It says plus one. See this right here. It does push him a little bit back, but you're still pretty much right there. You're still in jab range. That's really plus one. That's fucked up. Let's test this. <clears throat> Considering at the wall, if he was if we were to do the second hit, he probably gets a hokey. I don't know. That's that sad. I see recovers really slow, right? I'm gonna have to mash. Uh, I just, I, I'll just test off of a jab, I guess. Oops. Forward two. Get out of that. All right. Smash that. All right. Yeah. Now I'll test 12 frames, and if I beat him out with my jab, then we'll know it's only plus one. I don't have an 11 frame that I know of. Okay, there you go. Plus one. Can you try to jump over it? Uh, I'll switch to Josie if you want me to double check that. Whoa. 
What I should also check is if he were to hit you with that at the wall, is he really at an advantage or is it like if Cat were to do the uh, Harrier 4 wall combo where she loses all the advantage? Anyway, let's see. It looks like she could jump over it visually. Like I could see it in my head, but will she actually be able to do it? Let's find out. Oh, you mentioned every big jump. I'll try that too with her. Let's see. That's a possibility. Neutral jump, maybe? Nope. Oof. Neutral, maybe? Yeah, there you go. How about up back? Oh. Josie and the Pussycats, man. All right. I'm curious about one more thing here. I just got to find out. Just for my own sanity. Gigas has a Marduk move that used to do similar things to what Josie's, uh, not a launcher though, but <laughs> he has the jumping stomp of Marduk. And it would go over a lot of mids, like Josie's, um, and highs, like Josie's, uh, butterfly heads. So I'm just curious since I've been playing Gigas. He's blocking. Alright. <laughs> he doesn't even start the jump. <laughs> How about this? Ah, uh, he's too not enough. So you get you can do a generic armor move though and go through it and you'll get a punish. But this weird shit. Ah, punish! Punish! Hmm. Still, that's good enough. I'll take that exchange for that. <laughs> All day. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Steve. I should probably keep my voice down. People are sleeping. Yeah, Geek has got that Zangief shit. Uh, yeah. That's a, unlike most armor moves, that armor move for Gigas, it's down plus three plus four. It reduces the damage that he takes, and he recovers really fast. I know this because that's how I taunt with Gigas when I fuck up somebody that I don't like. After the round, he gets like three of those in a row. He's like, <laughs> like he's throwing up and shit. But of course, like other armor moves, depending on what hits him, if it's a string, he recovers slower. So, it's very situational. So, like, if I were to, like, if you were a Gigas main and you want to take as much advantage of that as possible, you're going to have to test that shit in weird situations, like, just like that one right now. You're going to have to test all sorts of, like, and it also depends on how fast you press the armor move. Like, when I was testing it against that move, this, uh, if I pressed it too slow, I wouldn't recover in time. But if I pressed it, if I mashed it out the instant he did the uppercut, the forward two, and then I armored the second hit, I recovered fast enough to get jab. And Mar uh, Marduk, I called him Marduk, fuck me. Gigas' 1-2 is like a really strong jab punisher. Like 31 damage plus knockdown. So that's an exchange in his favor for sure. Especially since the hit, the armor, that move reduces the damage rather than increases it. Similar to like a rage uh, art. All right, peekaboo forward two one. Peekaboo forward two one is still a really fucking good move. It seems like me. Like, and uh, if you want to fight against that move, you better have your armor ready. Thankfully, there's like you can react to that shit, right? Yeah. Look at that. If you're gonna counter that second hit, you can react to it. You don't have to mash out counter. So that's the that's the bonus on that one. But that makes uh, the first hit. 
like you have to hesitate, so. Uh, I, I didn't test interrupting it, actually. Let me do that now. I probably should have tested that, because this is a big delay there. The pushback, though. Yeah, I think you might be able to... Yeah, 16 frames. 16 frames. There you go. If you have a long-range 13-frame move, you will beat out both options whether he does a second hit or not. And if you're here at the wall, if you're at the wall, uh, if you're at the wall, come on. I don't know if it crushes highs. Oh, I don't. <laughs> there you go. All right. So that moves a double-edged sword. If you know what to do, though. That's one of those moves where he could get away with it for free, keep pressure, reset the neutral, put Bullion toward the wall, all that shit, if you don't know how to you know, how to deal with it, you know, so, glad I just found that out. That's probably the first thing I should have checked, really. Anyway, next is, uh, Peekaboo forward 1 plus 2, which is a push. It says negative on block, but it doesn't know how much... Pretty decent range. Plus six. Plus six. Plus six. Right. Peekaboo down forward one is 15. Uh, I don't think that crush is high, so let's see. So that's supposed to be 15 frames, but that range is really shit. Yeah, plus six. Beating out my jab. I mean, that is a 15 frame move, but it's at least plus 6 because we would exchange if it was plus 5. So, plus 6 is probably right. Oddly enough, on hit, it said plus 4. Huh. Plus, wait. Yeah, plus 4. Yeah. <laughs> Weird, right? This reminds me of Virtual Fighter. All right, let me uh, do 12 frame. Oh, 12 frame is beating me out. I don't have an 11 frame. <sighs> um, Virtual Fighter Akira. If you ever play, if you never played Virtual Fighter, Akira is known for breaking your guard. The thing about those guard breaks is, if he hits you with them, he was actually at negative. He was at so negative that he couldn't duck throws, but still safe. So the whole thing about fighting Kira is you want to let go of guard and let him do the guard break. <laughs> Have I even started to go online e Chang? I streamed online earlier today on uh, PS4. Man, fuck online. Online sucks. Why you want me to go online so bad? Well, you want me to show off my ranking? It's Usurper. whoop the fucking do Usurper on PC like that means something. Trying to get good. All right, peekaboo. Down forward one, 15 frames. Down forward one is safe. Negative nine. Let's make him block it. Negative nine. Okay. Sorry. Right, so let's go back to the record. I want to see if we can sidestep this frame. Off of the low. All right. That looks slow. Let me do it again. Damn it. Get out of that. He's glued to that shit, man. Ugh. All right, get out of that. Full crowd, down forward one. Mash it. All right, that looks good. All right. It's slow enough that I could get the little micro side step into block, which is looking less and less useful because I'm forced to block everything. Negative 10 if he stops at 2. Negative 11 if he stops at 3. Negative 13. Alright. Stand. Okay. okay, the first two hits. First there's a natural either way. Second hit counter hits you, the rest is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. And then I'm gonna assume the third hit counter hit, same thing. Bam, that's so much range. Bam, bam, right? Yep. Okay, and he can delay it too, right? Okay, that's dangerous because he could delay the second hit a lot. So he's like, bah, and then he counter hits you and then he gets the rest of it. And it's still comboed with the delay. You saw that shit? Damn, that's like Asuka's, was it her 3 1 or her 3 2, whatever that shit is? Mad hit confirmable. Not only is it hit confirmable, you delay it and then you set up the counter hit. Fake mash. Damn, that's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good, I must say. Alright, uh. Now, there's no point you could interrupt the string if he doesn't delay it, right? I'm pretty sure. So it's very rare for Steve players to finish this. They'll just stop early to try and force the mix up to continue. Right? Oh, and it, it allows you to match af even after the first hit. So at any point. Yeah, if you were to match after the first hit, you're gonna eat the rest of that freaking string. God, that's a good string. That's a really good string. Alright. And it follows you kinda. Side step at any point. Uh, can you, uh. You can. I wonder how fast the activation of that is. Can you. Super. Super has more at, uh, startup than a. Um, than a, a, a. A counter. Nope. Nope. How about after the second hand? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, Supers have startup. So, counter is a tool to stop this, but he could bait it and fuck you up, right? Um, I can do that one. One, two, three. Oh, wow, that last one comes out fast. One, two, three. Okay, that last one. You're stuck in place. Whoa, there it is again. Yeah, so that's a good string. Oh, yeah, I block the whole thing. I better record it again now that I went here. Alright, let's block the whole thing now. Okay, yeah, no punish. Now you 13. So the RB noise right about that one. Uh... I guess also down forward one two. Ah yes, that knocks down a normal hit. It is mid high, so it gives you a reason to duck the second hit. But then he can go mid 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 with the whole freaking down forward one one two one. So it's like pick your poison. That's also a tailspin string. So if you uh go into peekable during your juggles, you could use that to tailspin for your combos. Is that natural combo on normal hit. It sure is. How's that second hit on counter hit? Okay, it's the same thing. At least it's not yet another counter hit. Fucking juggle starter, right? Uh, can you parry that one? Oh, Vigilant D8? What? Who even remembers that game? Alright, so you can parry that one too. And of course, you can just duck. Or you could go. How slow does that really recover? Does he doesn't have it? He doesn't have it! Holy shit, he doesn't have delayed hop kick. I didn't know that. He has that bullshit, which is trash. Oh, but he's <laughs> it recovers slow enough to get hit by that, I guess. But he doesn't have delayed hop kick. Holy shit. He doesn't even kick at all. He just has a 4-4. Four four. He doesn't even have a jumping three. That's so weird. He has that. Man. Alright. I don't know why I thought he would have it, but whatever. They didn't want to give him the big block punisher for hell sweeps and shit, I guess. Alright, so that's peekaboo down forward one, two. I guess we got peekaboo down forward two. That's the launcher, the elbow launcher, right? Yeah, so I don't think you could parry that. Uh, let's record it out of the low. Ah. 
slow. Alright, well anyway, it looks like an elbow, so I'm gonna assume that it is. This is negative 10 on the dot. Alright. So, it's slow. Okay, so I don't have an 11 frame move. I do have 12. Okay, so yeah. Negative 10 is probably right. I don't have another frame, uh, 11 frame move to test. <sighs> Next. Oh yeah, let's set some tracking on that one. That's not it. Okay, yeah, that shit is super linear in this direction. I barely sidestepped there to get around it. And even if you were to block it, you'll get the jab anyway. Like, honestly, if you sidestep, like, through this micro sidestep, you make anything with, at best, you're probably gonna get a jab, because then he has those strings, where if you get around the first hit, you know. Like, what if I were to do the micro sidestep against this? I think this track, but... Oh, that tracked. Yeah, no, that tracked. Okay, so you won't get it against that. I can pick a back one. Ah, this is the other string. Man, how many strings is some people, man? All right, this is all. This is mid high. Okay, he doesn't have a mid mid option. It doesn't look like he does. No, he has mid high mid mid. Mid high, mid mid, it's a flicker. Castlevania. Ooh. Let me lower this a bit. The Game Boy audio quality kind of gives me a headache. Alright. Huh, wait, was that mid mid high? Mid mid high, mid. Okay. Mid, mid, high. Ooh, is that jail? That jails. Fuck. It's not only is it jail, when I try to duck it, I got hit by the high. <laughs> That's how fucked up that is. It jails, but it, it, it usually when a move jails, if you try to duck, it just wouldn't allow you to duck. But in this specific case, when I try to duck, it just fucking hits me. That's so weird. I don't think there's any other move like this, any other string like this. Wait, the second hit is high? Am I crazy? Oh, the second hit is high. Oh, man. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. 3 a.m. debuff. Wait. 4 a.m. debuff. Alright. I suck. Can I interrupt this? Alright. Yeah, 4 a.m. <laughs> Any advice for a new Tekken player? I literally know nothing. Why is there no tutorial in this game? Uh, as far as why there is no tutorial in this game, I don't fucking know. Because they're bitches, maybe. Um, a good start would be to check out Aris's stuff. If you had a specific character in mind and I covered it, you could check out the YouTube downstairs if you scroll down. And I made a couple of character tutorials. Uh, well, let me not call them tutorials, sorry. What I'm doing here, I did with a couple of other characters. Mainly of the newer characters, mostly, except for Akuma and Katarina. I have to do Katarina again because I did her when uh, before the game was out, so I streamed it somewhere else. So I want to get banned on Twitch. Um, and I just also did a Alisa, Asuka. Yeah, Alisa and Asuka. Yeah, Alisa and Asuka. Um, my suggestion is play whoever you have fun with, mess around with a couple of characters that you're that look interesting to you. Go into training mode, just look through look through the movies. You go to the movies here, right? Check this out. This is a tech this has been a tech since day one. If you go in here, right, and you see on the bottom, it says uh, display in game, press Y. On the PS4 version, it would say press triangle. You do that. Oh, sorry, let me take that back. You go in here, <laughs> start over. You see where it says play demo. That's what you want. Press A on the PS4, it would be X. You do that, right? And it'll tell you, uh, the, uh, it'll show you the timing up there. You see under double jab, it lights up when, it, uh, when the AI is pressing the buttons. And you'll get audio cues too. And then while you're in this menu, in this menu here, you can just scroll through your moves. 
And like, oh, let's see. Like, these, these moves are cool, right? Look easy to do. And then you just go through the moves just like this, right? And if you see a character that seems cool, that seems to not have a super complicated move list, seems interesting to you, fuck around with that character. Look up some shit online. What is their, what are their, what are their go-to moves and shit like that, right? And then while you're doing that, you also want to work on the basics of Tekken. You want to take some time to work in, you know, backdash canceling. There's a million freaking guys on how to backdash cancel. A million guys. You, you know, Eris has one. You know, and all the other people making videos out there, myself included, have one, right? So, you would, this is very important. You want to get the feel of the movement in general, the sidestepping. Not all sidesteps are back that are created equally. If you happen to pick Gigas, you're not going anywhere with your fucking back that's your sidestep. Especially when you're sidestep, Gigas ain't going nowhere. Gigas back dash is like right here, and he's gonna like he's gonna do like here. He goes like nowhere. Two back dashes, this will be it. It's like one back dash for your average character. That's two back dashes for Gigas. So. That's just how it is, right? So yeah, pick the character you find interesting. Let's wrong with it. Uh, what is frame data? Is it the amount of frames in an attack? Yes, it determines the speed of your move. The game runs at 60 frames per second. If you look on the top middle, okay, I have the frame data on my other monitor, so I have to look over. But if you look at the top middle, you'll see I have a frame data application running. Uh, they can get on PC version. And the left side, it tells the frame data of the one player, Steve, and the right side tells the frame data of the two player, Steve. So, uh, to give you a start, right, uh, typically for 99% of the time, if you press the one button, which is to say square on the PS4, X on the Xbox controller, or on the PC controller, whatever, you're going to get a one jab, right? I, I, apparently, Steve's moves, moves to the left. I didn't know that. Anyway. Almost universally, unless you're Jack uh, or, or Asuka, well, unless you're Jack, it's going to be a 10 frame move and it's going to be the fastest move that they have outside of a handful of instances, right? 10 frames. That means it comes out in one sixth of a second. That's 10 frames, uh, 60 frames per second. So 10 is one sixth of 60. Simple. One sixth of a second is how fast this punch is taken to hit this motherfucker in the face. And universally, this would give you a small amount of advantage on block, plus one. So, if I record him doing jab, jab, and even though I blocked the first one, I'm not gonna be able to interrupt the second one. See, oh, okay, I didn't record it right. Let's try it again. <laughs> oh, he has a one, one. Of course he has a one, one. Okay, there you go. See? I can't interrupt it with my fastest move. Does that mean I have no options? No, that means I could I could still sidestep either direction in this specific case. I could duck because it's a high. And if you duck it, you can come up with a wild standing move, but I was too slow. You could backdash. See? In this case, I was able to backdash. And then you could try to whiff punish. That wasn't a punish though. You have no shortage of options. Steve, he could do this. He could punch parry. Uh, there's a crush system. So you don't only have to duck, you can crush. Uh, I didn't launch, but you know. You get the idea? You have a lot of options when you're playing this game. You've been playing Lily because apparently she's easy to learn or something. <laughs> yeah, Lily is, uh... Lily happens to have the one of the best, if not the best, sidesteps in the game. I don't know about her back dash, but her sidestep is really freaking good. So that's one thing you should know about Lily. I don't know. I haven't looked at Lily yet, so I don't remember too much about her off the top of my head. But uh, Lily is very straightforward. Remember, I told you. Uh, I just told you a jab is a way to uh, start pressure universally. Lily, you could do a jab into a down forward one. That's like a little pressure screen where the only gap there is for a jab, right? And then if they were to, if you if you were to get them to block a jab and they were to jab, you could, could do one one of her million high crushes, like down plus three plus four. If you want to be really risky, Matterhorn. The launch them and shit like that. Uh, Lily's a very evasive character. She has a lot of evasiveness built into her offense. So the more you learn about her her move set, if it looks like it dodges something, it probably does. Test what it dodges. Test if it dodges a high jab jab. Test if it dodges a mid jab down forward one. Test if it dodges a low jab down three for Lily or some shit like that. Block a jab and then do something. See if it avoids. Hop kick. She has a hop kick. Up forward three for her, I think. 
Hotkicks are really freaking cheap. You get a juggle out of that, and it jumps over lows. Alright, back to Steve. So, we're looking at this new peekaboo screen, right? It's not new, but this other peekaboo screen. So the second hit is high. For some reason, I thought the third hit was high. Okay, so that's made a 10 on block, but he can cancel that last one into flicker, and if he does that, he's at negative four. For some reason, it's not showing the frame data of the flicker cancel into duck. Either way it goes, if he cancels the flicker, he's safe. So let's see if this uh, negative 10 is sure. Okay, so that's true. Yes, indeed. Okay, so you can do the flicker duck cancel, and you'll get away from everything. Stops at the third hit. Negative 11. Negative 7. Negative 19. The fuck? That's not right. Is that back one. Yeah, it is negative 19. Weird. I guess the key thing about the string is if you're going against it, you're gonna want to duck the second hit. Um, Natural, not natural. Okay. Damn, that's a lot of range. It's just like the other string. Second hit on counter hit gives them the rest for free. Yep, just like the other string. Counter hit properties on the last hits. I gotta go far back for this. Uh, he might have lost it by then. Okay, nothing on that. This is a knockdown. So it's another case of is he gonna finish it or isn't he? But in this case, if he does finish it, he's safe. I guess that's the exchange for the second hit being a high, right? And can you delay this one? You sure can, the, the second hit. In this case though, it's not as... Oh, it's, it's still pretty hit confirmable. Yeah, that's hit confirmable. That is hit confirmable. Not that you want to stop at the first hit with it being like it's 19, but still. Good string, good string. Both of his Pikachu strings are really good. Uh, let's just track it on this. The only thing that matters is if I can sidestep it right. To me. Uh, whoops. Get out of that. Uh, that looks slow. Let me try that again. I don't know if Char is still around, but this might give him some uh, PTSD flashbacks right now, this music. Uh, Alright. Jinkinator! What's up? Did I call you Java Star earlier, Jinkinator? If I did, I'm sorry. I see the J and my, my brain is fucking it's all over the place. Uh... Peekaboo back to this is the second punch of that forward two screen, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, I had a feeling. Except he's doing it with his right hand. So this is like a high crush and it avoids a lot of mids. This is like a straight up back swing blow. Uh, oh, that's just like a fly. Okay, so it's a different knockdown on counter, you might have noticed. Let's see if you get him from it. We got 
come back quick roll. Let's test the... Uh, we're gonna test this. Tech? No, no tech for you. Alright. Let's see what happens on counter hit here. That looks like it would wall spat from pretty far away to me. Because it does, but I don't know if you get the wall combo in that situation. You might get something for free. I would have to record this on myself. Like, you might at least get a run if it's down plus one plus two. Or maybe an albatross down two. If he counter hits with this. Oof, not quite. The double, double albatross, the roll, whatever, the double spin. Oops. I was mashing, that's fine. Switch to my Weeb uh, OST soundtracks over here. Oh no, it didn't. It just froze on me. Refresh. I was gonna switch to the JRPG stuff. More Ninja Gaiden though, that works. Ninja Gaiden music is tight. This is too close. Yeah. Hmm. He would probably, in that situation, if you were on the ground break stage, he would probably get a forward forward too. Right. So does he even need a... Yeah, he needs the counter hit for it to be like a far away slap. Closer than that, for sure. I think. Oops. My damn accent. Now he's up against the wall, so of course it's gonna work. Mm. It's gotta be something cool you could get off of this counter hit. It does a different knockdown. with down plus one plus two problem. If you want to like really get good in second, it's going to take a very, very long time. And it's going to be very discouraging if you go in expecting to beat people really fast. You will play probably for years and you will get fucked up. You probably get good enough to beat up the noobs pretty quick. And even a couple of intermediate players. Like, you could get good enough to beat up someone like me fairly quick. I'm not good. I've been playing this game since DR. And, and I'm still, I still don't consider myself any good, right? You gotta understand that the best people that are playing this game, not even the best in the country, but, like, the really good people have been playing for fucking, like, five, six, seven, and in some cases, over ten years. And this is a very, 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 very legacy skill-based game. So those people that have been playing for years have been honing these movement skills for that long. Their judgment of spacing, they retain all that shit from the past games. And that's why you get shit like uh, Saint using Jack or any of these Jack players, right? What do they all do? They use like six, seven moves. Uh, why is Jack not considered overpowered? I'll tell you why. Those six or seven moves, you have to be fucking good to use those moves at the right time, at the right spacing, at the right place. Because if you're not good, you'll get fucked up using those same moves all day long that's just how it is in Tekken so if you have fun don't worry about what you know if you're interested in Tekken and you want to have fun try to have fun without winning what the fuck is up with these YouTubes they're all freezing come on stop that shit anyway so the peekaboo shit alright so that back to I don't know what's going on but it's supposed to be negative 14 so let's test that oh I also want to test the tracking so we're going to hit record. Oops, we're not going to do that. 
Yeah, so this is probably worth the success of tracking on this thing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just in case he follows you with it. Yeah, no, this has like zero tracking. As it, it should be that way. The crazy thing about it though is it's a backswing blow style move with a ton of range. That's like not a thing really, you know? Like Lars, his kind of has more range than most because he sticks his arm out when he comes back. This is like a straight up full on long range hook. Look at that. So then it becomes, how good is it? Yeah, it's one of those. Okay, luckily Sonic Fang is uh, one of those uh, long distance, low hitting mids. Ooh, the first one whiff. Second one caught him coming in. That worked. Okay, so it's a really slow move. In exchange with Dom back two, which is a 26 frame move, even though he's at plus two. That's a 28 frame move, according to the bot, and I'm inclined to agree because the lowest 26 frames we exchanged when he was at plus two. Okay, so the other thing, a negative 14. Negative 15 is not a punish. Let's try it again. Yeah, sorry, that wasn't a punish. So negative 14 on block. So what we gotta watch out for. So next on Peekaboo, and the last move in Peekaboo is the low crush. So some people might tell you, hey, uh, crouch jab against Peekaboo, right? Because it'll interrupt everything, right? Well, yeah, it will interrupt everything frame wise, except. He has this low crush. So the thing about it, I guess, if you wanted to really like play this risk award shit, you could force the C players to use this if they want to really harass you with peekaboo. You could really force this move out of them. And the good thing about that is this move is negative 15. So you could launch them for doing this. So you could play this like risk award game, high risk for you, because for this crouch jab damage, that's like typically five damage. I don't know what's up with these ninja gated videos, but they're all freezing. So I'm just going to skip to the next one. Uh, you're only going to get like 5, 4, 6 damage for a cross jab. Maybe like 6 or 7 if you get a counter hit, right? In exchange for the risk of getting launched with uh, this shit, which is a 20 frame launcher, which means he's going to get like 70 damage plus, depending on the walls, or floor break, or rage, right? That's the risk you're taking. But if you think about it in a way that you're gonna be like, all right, I'm gonna just force that move out of him by doing like one or two crouch stats where every time he goes to peekaboo and you're ready for it, you can make that work out in your favor. So if you're fighting against Steve, that's just one way to think about it. The old JDCR sidestep cancel trip, it doesn't seem as effective as it used to be. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something here. But if your strings catch you, then I don't, I don't see what the point is, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the whole thing about what JD Star used to say is it was another way to force this out of him while also eliminating the low. But now it seems like you're going to have to cross jab to get this out of him. Because the sidestepping, like, you won't get hit sidestepping with anything but the low into the low, but... Oops. It's down. And the thing is, if I were to do that kind of sidestep into a low pairing, that mid launcher is going to hit me. So maybe the sidestep will still work to dodge some stuff, but doing this and all of those mids, the mid strings, you're going to eat all that shit. So, I mean, the answer to dealing with Peekaboo, the best answer is don't get put into that position in the first place. <laughs> but if you can't help it, know that the crouch jab will stop most of his bullshit, right? Like, if I were to do this... Oop, I had no forward. Oh shit, that's 19 frames. People, what's the fastest mid? Uh, high. Uh, 17. 17? Okay, I can just look here. His mid's from Pika, but we got 17 frames. 28 frames, 17 frames, this is 
special. Oh, that's just peekaboo with that forward three. I didn't even look at that. I should check that out. Uh, this mid is uh, 16 frames down forward to the launcher. And peekaboo down forward one is 15 frames. So his fastest mid from peekaboo is 15 frames. On block, he can only get plus three to go into peekaboo. So a crouch jab will stop him. If he hits you and goes into peekaboo, you're going to have to eat the mix up, right? But the thing about peekaboo is the mix up. His lows aren't as scary as it used to be. He used to have, uh, he still has it. But this used to be, if I'm not mistaken, a normal hit long, uh, juggle starter in second six, I think it was. Now he needs a counter hit, which is why you shouldn't match when you're, uh, <laughs> when you're, when you're, when he, when he transitions to peekaboo on hit, you shouldn't match. All right, but he gets the juggle, whatever the hell the juggle is. And it's a 30 damage jungle starter, so he's gonna get a shitload of damage off of that jungle. Dang, you guys have said a lot of your hammer been reading. Uh, yeah, <laughs> watching Char play through Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, I know. Ninja Gaiden's sound check is fucking legendary, man. That's why I added this to this playlist, but unfortunately, none of those videos were loading well. There was some sort of Russian YouTube account that spammed the freaking screen with annotations. I feel like that's why it wasn't loading well for me. Anyway. Back to the issue at hand here. I'm starting. To, I'm trying to keep my voice low because it's fucking 4:30 a.m. over here, so I gotta. I gotta end this soon. All right, peekaboo. Uh, there was something I missed here. Peekaboo down four. Peekaboo four. So peekaboo goes into wait. Hmm. That's not a normal albatross, is it? Peekaboo down forward three plus four. It looks like just a regular albatross, but it says I could press two or one and go with two. But it's just albatross. There's no albatross one, so I don't know what it's saying here. Oh yeah, there goes the lag. I think it means ducking. As you can see, Peekaboo goes into. Oops. Peekaboo goes into ducking if you press forward plus three or four plus four. Down forward plus three plus four just goes into albatross. Maybe that jag comes out faster. Uh, I wish I had a steep player in the chat to help explain this. The so RB Norway is saying down forward plus three plus four. Two or one. Let's see if this is on the move list. There, oh, that's during Rage. Oh, it's Dempsey Roll? Is that what this is? You can only do it at, a, at the regular Dempsey Roll, you can only do it at a peekaboo? Let's see. Uh, what the fuck is it? Peekaboo, peekaboo, where are you? Flicker, we need four plus three plus four for peekaboo. Here it is. All right, is there a down four plus three plus four here? Down four plus three plus four, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Nowhere to be found. This is the third people stuff. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. That's the thing I don't like. The move list doesn't show you all of his cancels. That, like, you can go out of Albatross off of a lot of moves. And it's the way and uh, it's the way you do it in combos, too. I know that. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe this is RB No Way telling me a bunch of bullshit again. He had Dempsey Rose as a regular move before. Alright, 
so peekaboo up forward till we went over that already. Negative 15 on block. I should just verify that. Yep, there you go. 15 frames. 70 frames work. I don't know if he has a 16 frame move. Uh, Dempsey is just his rage right now. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. So I don't know what that peak with down forward 3 plus 4 is supposed to be other than the Albatross. But Albatross is just 3 plus 4, so I don't know what down forward plus 3 plus 4 is supposed to be. Alright, so. Next we got Sway. Back plus 3 or back plus 4. Same thing. Alright, Sway 1. Alright, this is the classic. So it knocks out on counter hit. Bam, right? I don't know if he gets a down back. Um, Down back two. Oh, wrong button. Let's try this again. Uh, that does not look guaranteed. Alright, let's try down plus one plus two. That looks guaranteed. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely guaranteed. Yeah, no, I, I know that, Thief Glove. I was just uh, saying because RB Norway says PAB, peekaboo, into down 4 plus 3 plus 4. Is there a way to combo his radar that is actually beneficial? I never figured out when I play Steve. Not that I know of. His uh, rage drive is considered one of the worst in the game. Here's what I can tell you that I know about that rage drive. It tracks, like, it does something beyond tracking. It follows you. So if you at best you can make one hit with, but he's gonna keep turning with you. So if you see weird shit like weird stuff uploaded to YouTube where like they get behind him and all of a sudden he's like turning around, for example, there was one that somebody uploaded on Twitter recently or YouTube or some shit. Of uh, Feng, right? Versus Steve. Feng had the Steve player's back against the wall, I think, or something like that. So the way the interaction worked out was Steve activated the rage drive, right? And then when he does it, he does two Dempsey rolls first before he starts swinging. He does two uh, weaves, and then he starts swinging. And then at the same time, Feng did shoulder, which moved him forward. So the thing about Steve's Dempsey rolls, he's actually moving left and right. So something about the timing, the Feng shoulder went through him because Steve was leaning with the weave and ended up behind Steve because the shoulder went through him, right? And then the Steve turned around and hit hit him in the back with the rage drive. So that's just a weird little thing. If you want to see what that actually looks like, I'm not not that situation, but I see him actually following you, so you can see that I'm not bullshitting you. That's not how you do that. I give it to the player. I gotta go to the AI. <laughs> I gotta do it off of a jab, maybe. That would be a better idea. Ugh. That was a lot of damage. See, the first punch with, but he turns. See? He's turning. I can make the first punch with at best, but then he turns and the rest connects, right? As far as the actual application for this, I would say just save your rage for super, but there is one application for it. And you don't have to be up against the wall for this. But as long as you push them towards the wall, this is what happens, right? He takes that 5 chip damage, and you're at plus. Nothing guaranteed, but you're definitely at plus. You're plus enough to, like... <sighs> Let's see. Let's test how plus you are. I tested this last time, but I forgot it. So, oh, let's reset. Oops. Oh, the game crashed. 
Alright. <laughs> no problem, I just gotta load it back up. Just give me a minute here. I'm pretty sure that I was unable to interrupt the Dom Forward 2 16 frames with a jab when I tested this last time. At least that's what I'm remembering right now. I guess we'll never know. <laughs> How many legs does it take to, to get to the sensor once the tube will pop? I guess the world may never know. You know what the best thing about PC Tekken is? You can inflate your ego by showing off like these records because everyone on PC is so shitty. 77.3 <laughs> win percentage, I must be good at this game. I really hope that kind of shit isn't happening when I'm actually playing this version. I might have to like quit playing this version if that kind of shit happens when I'm playing it without all this shit on. Uh, okay, Steve. Ah, oh, man, starting to kill me. Going back here. of rage too, baby. It's the good shit. Okay, so we were testing uh, the wall, opponent range. Alright. Okay, and switch sides. Is the... Okay, the frame data still working. Okay, so I'm gonna test uh, 17, 17 frame move. See if my uh, crouch jab is because it's a high crush, I think. Okay. There you go. Plus seven. So that, um, it might vary depending on, uh, what angle you hit the wall and shit like that, but we know we get at least plus seven. You know, in an on axis situation. That was my cross jab exchanging with his uh, back. I'll do it one more time just to be sure. With his back too. Oh, yep, see? There you have it, people. I know I used to get frame drops only when I had Tekken bottom. Maybe it's the same problem when you're having Maddie. That's a possibility. Uh, but then what was also happening to me is when I run it in a window mode, which you have to for the bot, my frame rate would dip below 59 way more often than full screen. And it wasn't happening like a couple of patches ago. Like I feel like the last patch, whenever that was, I think that did something. So I have to run it in the regular ass full screen mode. Um, alright, so, let's turn this shit off. Let's turn this off. Let's turn off the wall. Oh, no, not no, the fall. Okay. Right, and we're back to neutral. Okay, so now the next stance we're talking about was sway, right? So, sway, that was sway one. So, sway one on counter hit gives you a free down plus one plus two, which is the this, but except it hits grounded and does one more damage. Um... It's the same animation as this, though, for some reason. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that's it right there. He makes a sound effect when he does it. That's how you know it's the down plus one plus two. Instead of just a down one. Uh, and then Sway 2. This is a uh, high crush. This shit blows the... Oh, wow. It actually hits you. I thought it would only hit you if you lean in with a jab. But I guess it's weird like that. This is just something that you're not going to get, like... Ooh, you can delay it. Mad lane into that sway. Look at that. <laughs> and uh, Star Stroke is on normal hit, apparently. Alright, uh. So the sway, too, if it's blocked somehow, because it has like negative range on the how you would block that, it is negative 18, but it's more than likely it's gonna whiff, so you're gonna wanna whiff punish that if you're fighting against Steve. If you are Steve, be ready for 
that sort of knockout to happen if, if you happen to catch him throwing a jab. Um, can I put in a negative nine with anything? Flicker one one one. That keeps him in flicker, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Flicker one one one. <sighs> All right, let's see if I can do this at negative nine. I don't know if it, I don't, I don't think it does. Uh, it's, by the way, one more thing about the rage drive: it crushes at negative nine. It crushes highs at negative nine, so it crushes on the first frame. That's like very rare. I don't, I don't think I don't know of any other move that does that except for rage drives, maybe another rage drive or something or a supper. Um, Probably gonna work, but oh shit, it does. Yeah, they would have to come into a one-two, but that's negative nine. Assuming that the free data is right. Yeah, negative nine. Negative, so this this straight this might be a spacing thing because flicker jabs are pushing me back. You see? Good. Uh, not so much there. Maybe because I'm holding back. Let me try the auto target. Yeah, no. <laughs> There you go, it's another first frame, a high crush. So that's what makes that back lean that good. I didn't know that was that good. That's such a cool looking move. Look at that shit, man. Playing the limbo, man. So good. Alright, uh. So back to this real quick. It says negative one to zero on block. Yeah, negative one on block, eh? So if I did a 12 frame after it, it would have changed from 13 frame. Ooh, force crouch. Negative one force crouch. There it is, the lag spike. Uh, so it would exchange with a jab. Yeah, there you go. Negative one on the block. Yeah, no tracking as expected. Okay. I wonder if that lead back to will have some sort of weird ass tracking because he swings sideways, you know what I'm saying? Like if I were to sidestep to his right, that might clip me, I think. Yeah. All right. So you're good. Uh, you're good on this. It's all side stepping, uh, tracking here. All right. This is a key move. Sway grab. We need to get to the wall again for this one. No, we don't need that. We need wall. So he has to tech in four position switch. If you sway and press one plus two, he goes forward, right? Uh, if you Sway and press one plus two and hold back, you switch sides. I don't know if he could go right or left with it though. If you hold down, he goes towards the foreground. Okay, so he can. And then if you hold up, uh, he, he. So, input the direction after the grab. Weird shit is happening if I don't otherwise. There you go, see? So one plus two and then hold the direction. Oops. Okay, so anyway, the reason I'm, uh, I'm at the wall, most people know this already, but if you're new to Tekken or you just don't know the matchup, Steve, this is an unbreakable throw, I believe. I'll check that in a second. Um, or I can check that right now. Opponent throw escapes. Uh, okay, this is a breakable throw. Sorry. Huh. Unless the AI is doing something that it shouldn't be doing. I should just verify this. Okay, good. This is a break of a throw. Either way it goes, if you do get this throw, um, you get a free, that's guaranteed, right? And if you want to see proof of that right now, I'm going to put guard all, guard all. 
See? Four hit combo. Uh, let's try 12 frames. Nope. So it's only, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know of any 11 frame moves, but it's only gonna be plus 10 basically. And you get a free 112. And 112 is nasty because it's good damage. He's up close. He can go into his weaves. He can set up wall splats off of his weaves. You know what I'm saying? On hit. And you really can't challenge him when you get hit by 112, especially with your back to the wall. So, that's what you gotta remember about that throw. He, in uh, the reason, um, I think it used to give plus 13. And the reason they took that away is because he used to be able to combo that into a slipper. No longer. And just to show you guys that. We also have video evidence, right? See? They took that away from him. I'm gonna go mid stage now. And the next dance, what do we have left here? So that, that's the sway stuff. Only three options, basically. Uh, and I don't think you can cancel sways or anything. Anyway, and then all we have left is flicker and then his throws. Good shit, we're almost done. Almost done, shit. You can't cancel it. He can cancel it to his sway and it looks natural. Um, it's his a weave, rather. And it looks, it looks natural graphically, but it's slow. Slow. It looks cool though. <laughs> oh shit, Steve is getting down. Yes, yeah, Steve, I like the music too. Alright. Back plus three plus four to go into f flicker from neutral. Alright, and we got the flicker jabs. 12 frame jabs. Flicker one. 1-1. One, one. Flicker 1, back plus he was for 1 to 3 hits. Huh. huh. Ah! There it is. Albatross cancel out of any of his flicker jabs. So, Steve has 3 flicker jabs, right? Flicker 1-1, one, one, Flicker 1-1-1. One, one, one. At any point, after either uh, any of those jabs, you could uh, press back plus three plus four. You could hold it. No, you cannot hold it. You can mash it, maybe. You can mash it. You'll go right into an albatross. This is important for juggles. So I guess it used to be. I don't know if he needs it anymore, but you got to remember this for juggles. Really, it's not really for the neutral. Um, see, one, two. One, two, three. There you go, see? Yeah, hold back the whole time. So, flicker jabs. One, if you don't uh, hold back, he'll go into neutral. So, one, you hold back, he's still in flicker. Okay. He's in flicker for like one bounce, and then he goes back into neutral. So, you can infinitely do flicker one. As long as you, uh, you don't wait too long, or else you go back into neutral, and then you do uh, one jab. When he goes to flicker stance, uh, he's always just does like one little bounce. He does go st uh, step back a bit, I just realized. I don't know if that's super reliable to create space to like create whiffs, you know? But it's worth noting, I guess. So that's how flicker works in general, though. He does like one little bounce and then he goes back into his neutral. Just know that you can hold back any of these jabs. Even one, two, he's still in flicker. One, two, three, he's still in flicker. So. Frame data here. Does it have a specific break or just one? Oh, it's one plus two, Psycho. Psycho, look at the hands. It's uh, he reaches out equally. Always look at the hands if you're wanting to break. The only time that's not the case is uh, King's giant swing, and maybe like one or two more throws. I think Lars has something that you have to do something weird to break it off of his stupid flip where he jumps into the air and flips, and if he grabs your shoulders, it looks like Akuma's demon flip grab. I think he's supposed to hold down to break that. I don't know, whatever, weird shit like that. Uh, and Law has that uh, Tekken 1 grab where he runs up and then he does the shooting star splash on you. That is, uh, I forget the break, but that's like a one or two break, it's one or the other. Either way, this is just a regular ass look at his hands, you know? That's one plus two. 
Um, if this were a command grab, this would be a one break, but it's a generic throw, so you can press either one. But you see how the left hand is leading? It's leading. That means it's a one break. And here you see how the two, ha the right hand is leading. That means it's a two break. And if you wanted to test the thorough breaking, I might as well explain this too real quick. You see how we got five slots here? You only need three. Uh, I was just doing this for Dragon though, because he has command grabs. You want to pick a character with uh, command with a uh, he has command grabs for a one break and a two break. I mean. Uh, so if you were to pick Dragon off, you want to put the uh, 1 plus 2 break throw. Oh, he has a, a unique 2 break here. This, you would have to break with the 2 for Steve. Uh, I don't know if he has a unique 1 break. But he has a 1 plus 2 break. That, and then. So you could put that. You could put the, this shit. And then. Uh, I guess a generic throw, but it would be bet you'll be better served doing it against a character with a unique break for each hand and just look at the hands and press the corresponding button press it as late as possible if you don't if you don't break it as long as you press the right button you're on the you're on the right track and eventually you'll work your way and get better at it I did one plus two there you got the other one uh, I press I pianoed it See? And just do that. Make sure to do it on both sides, because the animation is, is still going to be the leading hand. But the... See, the Steve on the two-player side, his left hand is leading, but his back, his shoulder is to the camera, while the one-player side, their chest is to the camera, and their left hand leads. In almost every stance in the game, left hand is leading in their neutral stance. Unless you're gig-ass, and his arms are just down here on the other sides. So that's why you're going to want to visually test it on both sides, uh, not test it, practice it on both sides. It just gets weird with a character like big body characters, because then at certain angles you're not going to be able to see people like... When I play as Gigas, there are times where a person will side set towards the background if I'm on one piece side, and I'm like right on top of them, and they'll grab me, and I don't see shit. His body is just blocking fucking everything, and it's like, oh, how am I supposed to break that shit, you know? Yeah, Steve Partouche. What are you doing up at this time? What am I doing up at this time? Pardue. All right. Uh, flicker. All right. So. Okay. So. None of it combos on normal hit. Two of them combo on a uh, counter hit. Safe on block unless he ends it with the two. The two is negative 16 it says. Which is uh, not really something I could test with Steve because he doesn't have a 16 frame launcher or crouching move. Excuse me. I just remembered that the uh, peekaboo low is 15. Oh no, the frame data bot is having trouble telling. It's not working. The frame data bot not working? Do I have to refresh this stupid bot? I need a pop broke. Let me reboot it. I broke it. Let's try this again here. Oh, there it goes. Weird. There we go. It's working again. So, okay, so I have a 15 frame for crouching, I can test. I don't have a 16 frame. Alright, that's too slow. 
<laughs> technical difficulties. That's launch for Steve. Negative 16? Negative 16 is launch for Steve. You sure about that? Force crouch, negative 16? Wait, is it force crouch? I'm assuming it forces crouch. Let me not do that. That's, uh, you make an ass out of you and me, right? Okay, no, it's negative 16 for standing. 16 is launch for Steve with what? Back to his 17. Right. Yeah, back to his 17. What's, uh, 16 for Steve to launch? Oh, uh, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that's launched for most of the cast, yeah. <laughs> Not for Steve, though. Like, 99% of the cast will launch you for negative 16. Uh, oops, that's not a fucker. Okay, so he's standing, good. 16, there you go. Okay, it's not a punish, so... So 16. Negative 16. So that's a big risk if you're gonna commit to that shit. But if any of the flicker jabs, which you could delay quite a... Well, you can't really delay them because he has to go back into flicker, I guess. So flicker, flicker jabs, jail. I can't duck. Oh, they push back. Yeah, you can't interrupt. All right. Hmm. Flicker jabs are weird, man. They don't really do anything. Like if they combo on normal hit be one thing, but they don't. They need counter hit. And if they jail, then like, where's the mix-up, even though we could go mid at any point, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird to me. Oh, there's the freeze. Oh shit, Mr. X. Um, let's see, flicker one, one. So flicker one, minus four, let's see. Minus four, one, one. Minus nine, one, 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 minus nine. So he's always safe, no matter where he ends. So that last mid is just there to keep you in check if you try to swing at him. <clears throat> and then he has an armor move where if you try to delay your input, it'll uh, beat you out, right? So flicker one. Oh, sorry. If you hold back on the flicker jab, like I said before, he stays in flicker. That makes his frame data way fucking better. So according to this, flicker, uh, it's not gonna show on attack and bot, but according to, uh, let me see. Uh, once it gets like four, plus one, plus two. All right. So uh, according to RB normally here, if I hold back flicker one, it's a one, while staying in flicker is, where the fuck is it? Okay, flicker one and hold back one flicker jab, and I stay in flicker, that's negative one. Let's test that, 13 frame exchange, right? That looked a little slow, but... Oh no, there we go, exchange for the 13 frame. Correct, so far, right? So, second flicker jab, one, one, hold back is negative three. So, Change with a 15 frame move. Oh, it crushes. Hmm. Do I have a 15 frame move that doesn't crush? Uh. Hmm. Alright, well, a 17 frame move loses for sure. Okay, 16 frame move exchange, so I could have been slow. So I guess negative three is okay. That's uh, All right, so that's one one. And then if you do three flicker jabs, he's negative four, it says. So this is where the 60 frame move is supposed to exchange. We can do that one. 
one more time. Okay, because I can mash it because this is one 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 one, right? Wait. Uh, uh. Okay, so it's definitely one frame uh, more than it's saying here. So that's negative five. Right, wait. Yeah, 17 frames. Right. That's negative five. And then the other one is actually negative four. Two jabs is negative four. And three jabs is negative five. If you say it's a flicker. Alright, so flicker one, one, one. Back, down, back. You could also cancel out of the flicker with down, back, like always. And it's slow recovery, but it is safe. On hit, one flicker jab on hit, and he goes back into flicker. That's plus 10. So you can't fuck with that. I think now this music is over, right? Okay, let's switch over to my JRPG shit over here. Show more. Here we are. We're almost done here, though. Just gotta go through the flicker shit. Alright, so the thing about Flickr that's he also has Flickr 1 forward one and Flickr 1 down one. So that's what makes this shit good, right? And he could go into either of those at any point. Or not any point. Oh no, he can't, okay. Okay, he can only do the forward one out of one or two flicker jabs. He cannot do it out of three. So I'm gonna like that one also. So the down one option. Same thing with the with the down one option. So at any point out of the first two jabs, you could do forward one or down one for different options. Uh, or you could do two, the two ender, which is super safe. Uh, flicker one, forward one. That's also safe on block. He can't go. He can't uh, maintain flicker after that. Why do people say his orbital punch is sick? I never understood why people praise it. It's super punishable on block and slow as shit. Alright, Shay already explained. Let me tell you a story about Tekken Tag 2 and before for Steve. When you press up forward 2, the animation for Steve, he jumps into the air and swings at the fucking clouds. It was still a launcher and it was still mid. But if he did it from like this range, and if the other Steve were to do, let's say, this, it would whiff, right? So, my main was Marduk. Marduk had a 14 frame low that tracks in both directions. Uh, and it counted as a knee, so you couldn't low parry it. And it did, and it crushed highs, and it did above average low poke damage. The only downside is it was negative 5 on hit and launch punishable on block, unless it's Steve, because it was negative 16 or 17 or 16, I think. Uh, so Steve couldn't launch punish it on block. So Steve, who couldn't low parry, who couldn't launch punish it, only got this. For every two of those kicks I connect, he can match up and damage with one of this. But he had to duck to get that damage. So, all I had to do... I, this was a crutch of mine, and it's why I really feel like I suck against Steve in this game. Because being a Marduk main, I never was been afraid. I never was afraid of Steve. Even when I fought a better player who would fuck you up at Steve, I'd be like, "All right, he's just a better player. It's not Steve. Steve is trash, right?" Um, it was basically a whole lot of me dancing around. Oh yeah, and that Marduk low had a lot of range. It would hit from like this range. It had like a, a shitload of range for, so for no fucking reason. If Marduk were in this game, this shit would hit Marduk right in his bald fucking head for trying that shit. Because it has an amazing hitbox. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this hit AOP. Maybe not AOP duck, but it might hit AOP. You know what? Let's find out. Why speculate, right? So, point being, the, other, the old version of that was unsafe too, but who gives a shit? The whole point is you're making a read on the low crush. Yeah, it doesn't really make it a true orbital unless it's safe, maybe, if you really want to be, uh, you know, semantic, right? But, um... It has an amazing hitbox. That's what, it, that's what it comes down to. It doesn't have much range, but it has a fucking amazing hitbox. You can confidently low-crush with that move now. 
and not worry about whiffing because he's swinging at the sky with a stupid ass elbow or whatever that shit was. How do you go to AOP again? Alright, so let's see if I can do that a little faster. Get out of that shit, stupid. Get out of that shit. <sighs> Look at that. Get out of that shit. Right in your stupid fucking dome. Uh, let's wait for it. As long as he's right in her face. Now, if you were to AOP duck. Princess Ling, right? Mm, still right on the fucking dome. Oh, feels good, doesn't it? As long as he's point blank, that's gonna fucking nail her for that shit, right? All right, see, I delayed it a bit to make sure. And at her, at the, at the, not the apex, at the lowest point of the duck, it'll whiff. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Look at that shit. The fuck is that? Whatever. So it hits AOP, but not AOP duck. Yeah, I, exactly. I cannot just harass D for free. I mean, Marduk isn't in the game anyway, but I can't harass D for free anymore. Yeah. Like, having a, a really good high-crushing low that tracks is not the same as it used to be in that in the Steve matchup. 14 frames. Can you believe that shit? Can you believe that in 5.0, that same low for Marduk was zero on hit? That 14 frame low that tracked, crushed highs, and what cannot be low parried? And uh, l uh, let me remind you that in 5.0 and DR, low parries from back then gave you full launch. It didn't give you that instant bound bullshit after, like it does now in, in Tekken 6. It gave you this animation where the, it would like, uh, the same animation you would see when you would block a healthy, but they're like, oh, like that's, that trip guard. That's what happened when you low parried in those old games. Of course, the low parry window was much smaller, so it was harder to fuzzy. Like, fuzzy kind of wasn't really a thing. You couldn't fuzzy low parry. Alright, back to the action. So we're talking about flicker jabs. Alright, so the flicker one one when he can stay in flicker and the frame date is good. Uh, but if he does any of the flicker cancels, he can't. Well, lucky him, his, uh... Ooh. This is zero on block, apparently. The flicker, you can also do it with up one. You can also, you can press, uh, you can do this with up or down one. Flicker one, it's a up one, or flicker one, it's a down one. It's the same move. And, uh, it's also a tailspin move. This is the flicker tailspin move, so... This, for example, bat, uh, you can go forward two one. Forward 2 1, hold back, and it goes to the flicker. So that's the combo I'm doing here. So forward 2 1, hold back, and to go to flicker, and then flicker 1, down 1, or flicker 1, up 1. Same move. You get a tailspin, and you go into the fucking whatever, right? Like. Into the wall. Forward 4 2, maybe. Apparently that's zero on block. And that's what the bot says too. Oh shit, mid boss. Yeah, zero on block. That is correct the move. Though. Yeah, it also has some weird tracking, like Shay just said, up forward too. That's one of those shits where if uh, you sidestep and you try to whiff punish it, it also clip you. If you do happen to sidestep it. I think I have to wait a bit after resetting the hit with play. Right? So it's one of those things where if you swing too early. See? You're like, oh, he jumped. Let me float him with a jab. Bam. Don't do it. Let him whiff. Let him whiff, and then whiff punish it. Oof. Get the, get the walk, too. And then whiff punish it. I don't know what he would get in that angle with that shitty launcher, though. <laughs> that shit. Punish it with your own, I guess. And he would get some bootleg-ass side combo. It is a slow whiff recovery, so... Keep that in mind. 
But there's like a ton of moves like that that I noticed where it's like, that doesn't track, why did it hit me? It's probably because you sidestep and you stuck out a, a limb uh, before the activation of the move because you thought you had the whip punish and then they hit you in the fucking arm because you stuck out a jab or they hit you in the leg or whatever, right? That's usually what happens. You mean flicker one down one? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no, we go back one into it. Yeah, Flicker 1 is already... Yeah, Flicker 1 on its own already tracks. Yeah, that shit, that shit is amazing. Okay, so that's not a natural combo or normal hit. So I didn't know about that. Oh! <laughs> you saw that? He turned around and caught me in the back of the head. If you're off axis, you can get around the first hit, it seems like, but... Yeah, see? That's what happened there. I was already off axis towards his right, my left, so I was able to sidestep the flicker one. But then he nailed me with the second hit. Like Shay just said, the second hit has really good tracking. I sent the Dragon Ball's back 4-3, the second hit. It's a high, but it tracks like crazy. Oh! So I said, but the sway works though. Probably because those sway is a fucking high crush. So it's high crush in the second one, the second hit. See, I can do that too. <laughs> that just looks cool. <laughs> uh, how about the one forward one? That one has like no track in it. So that's supposed to be negative five on a uh, block. Now the weird thing here is it says zero on uh, on hit forces crouch and then in parentheses it says plus nine forces crouch. Now, I'm wondering what that means. Now I have a guess here. I think what that means is if it hits you standing it's zero. If it hits you crouching it's plus nine. That's my guess. There's a couple of moves like that. Like Kazuya's forward four. Although maybe not so much anymore. Kazuya's forward four in Tekken DR and 5.0. If he hits you crouching, he got a free down forward one for launch. Uh, delay the down one a bit. Well, no, uh, Shay, I already confirmed that it tracked. If you if he were to delay it, it might hit the ending part of the weave. But the reason it's uh, the reason it's not hitting the weave is that you know that's high. I mean, I'll do it for you if you really want me to. But Lily might be able to get around it. Yeah, maybe. I uh, delayed a bit, right? Right, there's the delay. Ah, see? It just hits the end of the weave. But if I delay the weave, it doesn't hit me. See? Well, let me get real crazy with it. Hold on. Um, one? Alright. Oh! So that's a counter hit juggle starter. That's the uh, flicker one down one. Man, Steve is so cool. He's a cool fucking character, man. I think this is the best incarnation of boxing in the fighting game ever. Steve. Like, I'm, I felt that way since, like, maybe 5.0, even though he's bullshit in 5.0. Not so much in Tekken 4. Something about Tekken 4, Steve, was kind of, he felt like, you know, just like Marduk. He felt like an incomplete character. Marduk and Steve got heavily reworked after after Tekken 4. 
And in the case of Steve, he became, he became an overpowered character. In the case of Marduk, he became a shitty character for that game, but if you insert that version of Marduk into, like, this second, he would be really dumb. Not great, but really dumb. It would be a lot of down four, down one, down four, down one. That would be the whole match. Um, but anyway. What about Ready to Rumble? Is Ready to Rumble a fighting game? Is Ready to Rumble at evil? I don't think so. It's not a real fighting game. Unless the Cannon Brothers Demon so. Okay, so that's not a natural combo. Does that have counter properties? I forgot. Okay, it knocks down. So, I think the delay on that, the flicker one down one, catches me very often, and now I know why. At least I know it's a high. Because it looks like it could be a mid. You know, it's one of those, one of those really high-hitting mids, but it's actually a high. That's good to know. The only thing he gets out of a mid is uh, counter hit and knockdown. So anyway, uh, flicker one forward one, uh, we went and tested on standing, right? And then crouching. So if he... I'm in the brain fart here. Mash jab. Oh no, it forces crouch. Huh? I mean, if it beats out my, um... I'm testing on block, right? No, I'm testing on hit. Shit. Uh... While standing, this is 14 frames. So this should exchange with Sonic Fang. Okay, that's how I test this. Yes? Okay. 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 Got it. So, 14. So, that's zero on hit, right? Now, I want to test it on crush. And there you have it. I knew it. I can do it. Alright. Um, do you have, like, a 20 frame mid? Uh, Shay, do you know if he has a 20 frame mid? Actually, I have another way of finding this. I have a... I could, uh... Organize the frame data here, so maybe I can find something. Startup, startup. 19 or 20 frames on the keyboard. 19 preferably. We got 19 ducking, ducking, ducking. No, no, no ducking, no ducking. Up forward one. Up forward one is 19 frames. We're gonna use that. <laughs> so, oh yes, that move. Okay, so that's supposed to be 19 frames. The Tekken bot agrees. The Tekken bot deems itself. <laughs> that's gonna high crush, uh, low crush though. So it's gonna beat out my wall standing one. Yeah. Oh, that proves it right there. I'm trying to I'm trying an eleven frame move to beat out a nineteen frame. And it's not working. I can't test an exchange though, because it forces crouch. But yeah, so if you happen to duck that, or you are if you're a Steve player, you happen to notice your opponent ducks that, you have a very good frame advantage. Is there a unique animation to that? Uh, yeah, it's a different animation. He's lower to ground. See, Ugh. and then uh, see, that's how it looks normally. So if you're if you're sharp and you see that animation, you know you're at plus nine. All right, cool, 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 cool. cool. We're almost done. Flicker one down, went over this already. Apparently zero on block, which I tested before. Uh, this is actually negative five on block, so I can test this. Oh no, that's a high crush, isn't it? So go into a crouch jab. Oops. No, wrong one. Oh, it's just 
some mash cross shot after that. Wrong move again. Okay, this should exchange. Yeah, there you go. Negative five on block. Uh, yeah. So I went over all the peekaboo stuff. Yeah, Shay. Uh, Shay, I was trying to test anti peekaboo, really. That's what I was focused on on the peekaboo. To see if the sidestep, it's a, it's a duck, is still any good. The one that JDCR showed off years ago for Tekken Tag 2. Doesn't seem very good to me. Peekaboo down forward, one track. Uh, the only way you can really sidestep Steve is to your right. At least ask Steve, right? Uh, but then he has the 15 frame the, or 14 frame this shit, right? The homing, 14 frames. So you can only do a slight sidestep, unless you risk eating that. Although, I guess that is kind of a low reward. So the thing is, even then, uh, the down forward one and the back one, which is the start of both of the peekaboo strings, track to his track to that side, and then the low tracks really well, and then the launcher tracks really well. The, the up forward one. So my conclusion defensively, uh, dealing with Pikachu defensively is, if he doesn't hit you into a transition, or if he hits you only with the slow right here, which is only plus two, you could challenge him and beat out everything with a crowd step except for that. So then the idea is bait that out by crowd stabbing and then block and launch him for it if you can, because that is negative. Uh, 15 or 16? 15. Uh, I hate when people do the sidestep duck, then I know I'm going to have a hard time. I don't know, if the, that's what I'm saying, I don't know if the sidestep duck is as good as it used to be. Pick up a forward two crushes jabs? Do it. Wow, it doesn't look like it should. Think of before, which just seems like a good move. <laughs> there you have it. I mean, forcing this out of him isn't going to give you the same options, but... At the very least, in the case of that one, it doesn't track. So here's the thing, you could still use the crowd jab, right? And if you're gonna say, oh, I think he's gonna do the move to beat the crowd jab, you could sidestep right in and block. Right? You know what I'm saying? With punish. that both do the other one do the other one asshole so yeah idea stays the same just instead of uh, stand blocking side step right into block Never, never sidestep into a button against Peekaboo. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. Never. Never. Don't do it. Don't do it. Otherwise, you're gonna, you know, that. <sighs> Alright. Sidestep to your right. Your right. His left. If you see notations, all right. I feel like a lot of people are fucking this up when they're typing shit in chats and shit. When they're typing which way to sidestep. When you're the one that's typing, oh, SSR, you're saying the character you're controlling, sidestep right, SSR. Not the opponent. SSR doesn't mean the opponents, right? So please, if you're typing in chats and you're trying to like tell other people what to do, do the right notation. Right? If I type right now, SSR against Steve, I'm telling you, Sidestep to your right against Steve. If, if, you know. But I'm trying to be careful when I say things out loud. That's why I try to specifically say sidestep to your right, his left. I, I try to 
make that as clear as I can. But yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people fuck that up in chats where I'm like, wait, what? And then I, and then that, this becomes a situation where I have to ask them, like, you mean you're right or his right, you know? And it just turns the whole thing into a fucking complicated thing when it doesn't need to be that because we have the language already, you know what I'm saying? Just use the language right. Okay, so I'm running anymore? Ugh, there it is. Alright, anyway, um... Here, once in a while I practice that, because my, all, all my characters seem to really, well not all, the Gigas and, uh, Dragon all benefit greatly from this while I'm running, so... I gotta get that shit down. Back to Flicker. Alright, so Flicker won't pursue is a throw, that's the weird ass, uh, they gave him a fucking pro wrestling throw. Right? Like, what's he doing with, uh, <laughs> with an exploder? Like he's a Japanese pro wrestler. Why does he have the Ju Nakayama? I don't know. He's a boxer with a with an exploder throw. He also has this for some reason. Like what the fuck? I get the grabbing arms part. That's a thing boxers do to like get the ref to, to get a breather and get the ref to like separate them. And they'll try to sneak in a fucking headbutt because they're dirty or whatever. But um, and it's like, hey, why not turn that into a throw, right? But the freaking the exploder, the the fucking. <laughs> What are you doing? That says King Throw. That's supposed to be a King Throw. That's not supposed to be a Steve Throw. Whatever. The Ju Nakayama. Unusually strong boxer. <laughs> Exploder Suplex. That was one of those moves where if I had ever become a pro wrestler, I wanted to use it as like a finisher. <sighs> well, now we got Becky Lynch doing that shit. So we were looking at, uh, so Flicker 1 uh, tracks well to hit, Flicker 1, Flicker Jab in general tracks well to Steve's left. Based on my testing from before. Uh, we know that Flicker 1 down 1 is not to be fucked with. Uh, and then we got Flicker 2. So, you may think that's the same as this, but it's not. Flicker 2 on its own is way better, frame data wise, right? Knock down a normal hit. Zero to plus one forces crouch for the quest the market says. Well, that's not reliable. Yeah. So, 11 frame getting it sorted by 10 frames, so I'm inclined to believe the... the zero on block part test through, but it's 12 frame now. And now I beat him out with 11 frames, so it's definitely zero on block. Uh, that used to be like negative six attack. What, Flicker 2? Wow, so they buff Flicker 2, huh? Nice. That's a good buff, because that's a good move. Uh, what was my first Tekken game? Well, uh, in regards to learning Tekken, it would have to be DR. Technically 5.0, but 5.0 I started going to Chinatown. After. I'm in New York City, by the way. I live in Manhattan. So I'm like 15 minutes away from Chinatown Fair. Yes, it still exists, but it's fucking trash now. Back when like Henry Sen was there and the old owner was there, Indian dude named Sam. Uh, I started going there when Tekken 5.0 hit there hit the arcades because it wasn't a console thing, and I was a big Tekken fan. I always was, and I learned the slow and hard way, uh, which sounds like hey yo, right? But anyway, it was just. What I mean by that is I was getting fucked up by the New York players really badly. And uh, I was uh, too much of an idiot to really process what was going on uh, and train on my own. It was it was really in Tekken 6 when I started to realize like what Tekken was really about. You know, I was just like a lot of those other new people was like, oh, backdash kind of like, oh, earth and earth, whatever, fuck that. Um, and I was just thinking about it, like, mix up high mids and lows, and that's all you do, and then sidestep when you think a move is coming, but there's so much more to it, obviously. And it's really a Tekken 6 where I started to think more about it, but then I didn't like Tekken 6, so I barely played it. I played maybe, like, 500 matches of Tekken 6. And then Tekken Tag 2, I liked it for a bit, and I didn't like that. So I had these gigantic gaps of me not playing Tekken, but just thinking about it, and never putting that, applying that to my fingers, muscle memory. So I suck at Tekken, but I know more than my gameplay shows. 
which is why I'm doing all this now and I explain this stuff to other people that ask. I don't think I know enough to be like God more than second, but I know enough to get myself good if I if I practice a lot. But I like to play other games, so I don't know if I'll ever get there. <laughs> I also have so many bad habits formulated from back then that I never got rid of. Damn New York players, right? Shay, you know. You know about that shit. When did you start? I, I didn't hear about your name until Tech Attack 2, but I, I didn't really know the New York players after DR because I stopped going to like gatherings and shit. It was really just gatherings and chats after I never really went to many gatherings outside. I went to Locke's place like one time and he didn't even remember my face when he saw me after that. <laughs> and I went to Bloodhawk's place one time and I went to GM's place a couple of times. But in the DR days, I would go to GM's place a couple, like more than just a couple of times and I would bring my PS3 over there because I was like the only one that had a PS3 at the time. You started in Tag 2, no wonder I ain't. <laughs> You're pretty good for somebody to start tense. I've seen your videos. You do well. Uh, anyway. You ever met Blood uh, Blood Red? Bloody fucking bison. That guy's a character. Um, best lay in the cosmos. You should look that guy up if you never heard of him. Look up one of his rants. He's an uh, interesting fellow to say the least. Like you people think Tom Crady, Tom Crady, Tom Crady. You people think Tom Brady's uh, is a uh, nutcase, <laughs> and he gets angry very easily. You guys don't know shit about Blood Red, man. Um, so anyway, so this is a good move, and it got buffed apparently. Uh, it looks pretty linear though, if I already guess. Ugh. I might get Flicker. One, two by accident trying to record this, but uh, I don't know. I, I want to get the transition into it to really get a good. Uh, oh, that's back two. All right, that might be good. Yeah, it's just super linear. Ooh, wow. Got a wide hitbox. You can get around it though. Oh, <laughs> you gotta. Uh, if you're gonna step this, I guess you would go right. But the thing is, if you're going right, you're going towards Flicker Jab. So maybe you want to go left and just come into the walk. Yeah, I guess if I were to step against Flicker, I would commit to my left. I mean, this might clip you in the end if you're not careful. There you go. You have to, like, the moment he... The moment you recover, you have to commit your walk. Oh man, I can't even get it consistently. How about backdash? Nope. Unless you're at max range. Yeah, you're. Oh, not even. Damn, not even. That has good range. Like, really deceptive range. Similar to forward forward, too. Damn, that's a really fucking good move, man. Look at that. I mean, you know, it's relatively linear, but. It's a solid move. Yeah, they don't call him Blood Red for no reason. <laughs> you see them at next level? Oh, he still goes? He still goes there? Blood Red, yeah, I mean, you know. I don't think he's a bad guy. I just, he's a character. So that's what I said. <laughs> he's definitely a character. Alright, um... Flicker back two, so that's the armor move that I did by accident. Flicker two, very good move. All right, let's back to this. All right, um, his flicker grab is 12 frames. So that's worth knowing for like frame traps and shit. If he tries to throw that shit out, I mean, you know, just break it anyway, but still. Uh, so flicker back two is a 14 frame armor move, and this is a stop you from swinging at him, right? So the one thing I'm noticing about Flicker is, oh, I was wrong. He could also do his up forward two from Flicker. I was gonna say, oh, Flicker has no low crushes. Wrong, wrong. He could do his up forward moves from Flicker, except that one maybe. Oh, he can't do the up forward, the jumping stomp, or the bootleg ass hop kick, right? But he could seamlessly do up forward two. It looks like. 
See? Interesting. But if I try to do up forward three or forward four, I get the weave. Which is weird. Uh, huh, this is interesting. Let me see something. Arby Nori was saying, add a flicker, it's negative 13. Wrong again. So that's supposed to be negative 10, but it pushes back. So maybe only Gigas or Bob, maybe, could punish this. Maybe Jack with a forward too. Yeah, man. So the cool thing about a cross jab, if, if you were to risk doing it in a situation, is you would hit him and it would still whiff. Oops. And you would still get a while standing one too, in the case of Steve. So the cool thing about Steve's, uh, let me test something about that. Haha. <laughs> Steve is one of those motherfuckers that has a launch from crouching. It's not while standing, but a full crouch launcher, mid hitting launcher, that crushes highs the whole time. So if he's ducking on the strings, you could like confidently throw this out without worrying about your wall standing. You see wall standing one getting jabbed in the face and shit. See, you can't wall standing one unless you're lucky. You happen to fit it in between the gaps. You could confidently throw that shit out when he duck uh, high strings. You consider Steve to be one of the hardest characters in Tekken Seven. Good question. Uh, I think uh, he's. If I were to make like a tier list of like difficult to use characters, I feel like Steve belongs upper mid. I don't think he's the hardest. So the thing I'm noticing about Steve is this, like for example, I was last time I was streaming Steve. Where the hell is this? I was trying to do this combo. So the thing about Steve that I think is hard, really hard, right, is his juggles. It's so easy to drop Steve juggles. And the thing about it is, you don't want to fucking drop Steve Juggles. This is the drug I was trying to do. I couldn't, for the life of me, get that uh, ducking forward two to connect after the after the uh, two, uh, forward two one back and it's a ducking. I couldn't get that ducking forward two to connect to save my fucking life. Um, the thing is, you don't you get it's such a rare thing to launch with Steve unless you find it's a bad player that you don't want to like drop your juggle damage. Steve is like a character that's really bad at comebacks, but he's amazing at holding the lead. He has to work his ass off to, against really good players at least to really to really come back, right? So you look at Ty Say, that's why he had to get fucking good at Loper. You want to play Steve, you better be good at Loper. You better be good at reading lows and like taking the big risks, right? Well, low parry isn't really a big risk, but the up forward two shit. So it's rare to actually get a launch with Steve. What's less rare is to pick up, pick up, pick them apart with pokes. But the thing is, his low poke damage is shit. So that's just, you know, that's the struggle of playing Steve. So if you're gonna drop his juggles all day, then yeah, I have to consider him to be a relatively difficult character. What answers your question? Isn't King's down forward two a full crouch move, or does it get caught by jabs? Uh, it is a full crouch move, but that doesn't mean that it crushes. So, I'll test that for you right now. I'll give you an example. Asuka's while standing three. Maybe not the whole way through, but most of it is a high crush. And that's the shit where she like puts her hand down and flips backwards and with her legs up in the air and kicks you. Where the hell is King? So the same situation. I'm gonna do jab one one two. I 
I think I'll have to commit to just staying up and then doing my one call for work. Luckily, the work I'm gonna do is in the school that's a couple of blocks from me, so I don't have to take the fucking train. Right? Oh, uh, Steve, uh, King's Backdash is fucking weird. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're talking about this move, right? Same, same setup, right? We exchanged, so it still caught him, but nope, he stood up right into it. Okay. Now you may get an exchange, and that's still in your favor. You can still convert off of that. I'm trying to get an exchange again. But uh, whatever. If you exchange, this is the uh, down forward four three is still gonna pick up easily. You might even get a better pickup in those situations. But yeah, it does not. It's just a fast move, so you might interrupt. But you'll definitely stand up into a high if you don't time it right, or if you don't get lucky. You get a free four forward two after the armor move. Thank you. Man, I'm looking forward to Etrian Odyssey 5. That's what this song is. This song is from Etrian Odyssey 3. These games have really good music. They're these like dungeon crawling Japanese RPGs for the DS. This one's on the DS. Etrian Odyssey 4 came on the 3DS. And then there were remakes of uh, 1 and 2 on the 3DS. And then they made a Persona game that was like Etrian Odyssey called Persona Q. So the thing about Etrian Odyssey is this music, this is the dude that did Streets of Rage. 1 and 2. I don't know if he did 3, but you know the DJ dude? Yuzo Koshira, he uh, composed most of this, these tracks, including this one, for these Etrian Odyssey games. And that's the battle music. Anyway, uh, no problem, man. Glad I can help. Alright, so, uh, you said armor move gave him a free... There you go. Yep, in combo, too. So that's how you know he can't back her out of that. Legs up in the air. If you want to test, like, whenever you see the animation, right, that one, you always want to double check if they can get out of it. Typically, if you get a follow-up and it says combo, that means they can't hold back. But, if you want to be sure, first of all, the, to be the most sure, you just record it on yourself and then hold back when you get hit. But anyway, still, the, the option that you want to turn on is under ground technique, back quick roll. So, you'll know for sure, because then what ends up happening, if it's not guaranteed, if it's not guaranteed, they'll quickly roll back and stand to their feet. So, like, it's like you're rolling back with the momentum. You get hit back and you're rolling back with the momentum. That's what it looks like. That's how you can be sure. Alright. <laughs> I need water. Look at that. Flicker back to... So, I was looking at 10. I tested that already. So it's a good armor move to like stop people from attacking him during flicker because there are definitely some gaps in there. Uh, I ain't test how it tracks. At least I don't remember. So let's make sure. This probably doesn't track. It doesn't let it look like the kind of move that would track. Oh boy. So it kind of follows that rule where you might get clipped if you sidestep toward the move, but that doesn't mean it tracks. Oh yeah, it pushes back so I couldn't jab punish. Right? Yeah, so there's no jab punish on that. Unless your back is to the wall. That's definitely another wall splat though. My wrists. Alright, so... Next we got Flicker, forward, deep plus forward, I'm guessing it's Albatross. Oh no, it's Peekaboo. And then, uh, Flicker, back one plus two. Oh, he can just do his regular ass punch parry from Flicker, also. So, by the way, this punch parry, it, uh, parries, uh, Gigas' running mid. I don't know if it does the unblockable, I should test that. Because I want to know. I fought this dude from Malair, and he did that shit to me. By accident, apparently. <laughs> and I got parried. Um, yeah, that's it for Flicker. Right? Yeah, that's it for Flicker. Alright, let's look through his throws real quick, right? Alright, so 
two and one flicker might be better at tracking. What do you mean by that? <clears throat> two one flicker draft, you mean? Well, if it is, it's because he's at plus three. So the frame advantage just isn't, isn't his favorite, so you have less frames to sidestep. That is worth testing. Nope, it's like just like regular flicker where uh, the flicker one jab tracks to his left. So you have to go to your left to get around flicker jabs. So it seems like that that should be the general way to side him against flicker. Let's test all the flicker options at two one when he's at plus three. Not that option. <laughs> right? So that's the one that was clipping me, but if you commit to a sidewall. Yeah, so you get around it. You have to commit to the sidewalk though. If you step, you're gonna get clobbered in your leg like that. And it just might clip you sometimes because you're not ready, but that's the risk you have to take, right? Unless you want to go towards the flicker jab for some reason. Oops. I mean, I suppose it's not so bad as long as you don't press a button. Because then none of the combos on normal hit. It. So. Uh, no. Let's give the flicker options. Uh, Oh, Flicker, he could also go right to forward 2-1. That's interesting. Even though he could go into ducking, of course. And he could go into weave out of Flicker. So keep that in mind. But we want to know the built-in options. Uh, flicker. So it's either Flicker 1 or Flicker 2 or Flicker back 2 or Flicker forward. Flicker forward 2? No, not forward 2. I mean, it's really just uh, the starting of everything in Flicker is either the throw break the flicker one into the follow-ups or the flicker two or the armor from, from flicker right yeah or the up forward moves that's all he can do instantly out of flicker yeah that doesn't have to be the, the case here so let's see up forward two and shit like that Yep, so once again, come into a sidewalk, and you're okay. Uh... Yeah. And even you, even if you don't want to come into a sidewalk, you'd step guard, and you'll be okay. I mean, you might not get any punishment out of it, but you'll be okay. And it'll be like a free attempt, pretty much. He doesn't have a flicker low. He has to cancel out of Flicker to get access to a low. So remember that about Flicker. He doesn't have a low out of it. Uh, he has that because if you press down back, you cancel out of Flicker, but they still cancel. I guess that is. I guess that counts. It's, it looks. It looks like it's seamless almost. So I guess you can do down back too from Flicker, but he doesn't have like a fast low, right? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have his down two, uh, down one. He doesn't have down two. No down back three. He has to do this slow ass shit. So I wouldn't be too worried about those. Flicker. This is probably gonna track, right? Maybe not. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> and not even that works. It looks like it should though, right? Because he swings in that direction. I mean, I get hit by that move too. It's just, you, you'll get used to it if you keep finding Steve's that abuse that move, and eventually you'll see it. If you really want to see it, grind out here, record five fucking random things, and just make that one of the lows. You know? And then just try to see it. <sighs> Albatross 4 for when they get scared and blocked. You know, of course, you could force the Albatross mixes, you could force the weaves. You know, you could force the ducking stuff too. I mean, not that any of that has a. Uh, or you could go right to peekaboo. You know, you could do all that shit, and then in peekaboo you got the low. So yeah, even in the even in these stances, his lows are just not that scary. This is what 12 damage. He'd have to catch you with a lot of these to really get you to to really start piling on the damage, right? And this is seeable. That's strong, but it's seeable. Stronger than this shit. It's 21. 
I did some block, but I did assess. What is that? Oh, I treated an 4 That's negative 12, just like this. Okay, cool. I thought that was launch punch. Well, you can, like, low parry this on reaction. 28 frames. That's definitely seeable. Uh, so... You gotta be able to see it, shit. When he's a peekaboo, keep your eye out. The only thing that makes it look weird is because he's, like, picking up his arm, so you don't really equate that with a low. So it's, like, a unique animation for a low, but... You gotta see it, man. Negative 11, huh? Well... Just go be 11 frame punish then. Um... I saw two things left. I wanna look through his throws... And I wanna check the shit with Gigas. Don't trust the bot. <laughs> the bot might be wrong. Um, Gigas. It's almost like the announcer wants to call him Gigas. Steve's robe looks fucking cool too. Alright, stop ducking. Stand up. Let's go record. I want to see what works on the unblockable. I mean, he has an option to be out of that. I'll show you in a second. He doesn't have to come into it right away. I thought, I used to think this was a shoulder, but it's a punch. The mid looks like it should be a shoulder. Oh, wow. It's, it's actually... Okay, no. Also, just uh, do the uh, run into uh, body fucking block, whatever you want to call that shit. So, Shay, I just gave you some anti gigas tech in case you ever run to Bloodhawk trying to uh, fuck with you. <laughs> using gigas. What stick am I using? I'm using the. <sighs> I've shown this a few times here. Itoki on me. Uh, Korean edition, so the this is the JDCR stick. The problem with mine, though, is the down micro switch is fucked up. I've shown this several times. Let's get in the duck real quick. Let's see, uh, can I get it? Yeah, no, no. Wow, it's not doing it anymore. Huh, huh. this is weird. Usually, uh, usually they get stuck ducking. But when I shake it, it only goes down. Because the, the down micro switch is sensitive. There it is. Yeah, you see that shit? I'm not touching it right now, but he's ducking. He's staring at Steve's ass. So that's how Gigas rolls, you know what I'm saying? He wishes he had dies like that. So the problem with that when I'm playing is I have a lot of trouble doing instant while standing. So I'll duck a high, right? And I'll try to come up with a with a while standing move, but then the process of me letting go and hitting the button, I'll sometimes get a full crouch. Instead, so I'm trying to like while standing one, I'll get a full crouch one, and I can I lost count at the amount of times I would lose a while standing launcher punishment because of that. No, it's a circular game. It's a Korean stick. Uh, Shay doesn't work anymore. The wall throw into super, he lost it. He only gets like plus ten. I tried it. I even tried in the uh, twelve frame two one, and he, uh, it doesn't work. So he only gets one one two. They took away the wall silver. Um Oh, there's actually one more thing I want to test while Gigas is here. Let's turn off wake up. Uh let's knock this clown down. Because he's a big body. Yeah. 
So as long as you uh, swing at the upper body, you'll hit him. Most of the other ca like, okay, I was gonna say most of the other characters, but in the case of Steve versus Steve, as you saw earlier, it was only at the head. Oddly enough, Gigas with his tiny added head. <laughs> On Steve, this worked. It, although he was face down, right? Uh, Gigas is back, though. Yeah, his back, uh. Okay. Punch that ass, no? Skip a leg there. You got no meat on your legs. That's why I can't hit you. You can certainly hit Gigas in more places than most. Oh, wow. I expected that one to hit. There. <laughs> it's so weird how finicky this kind of stuff is, you know? Oh, well. Alright, good enough. Let's go back. Yep, Zen, I'm still awake. It is 5 a.m.? 5.49. It depends on the angle. Are you sure about that? Let's see. So, are you saying that I would need one of those walls that's like... Circular? Like, um... Uh, This? Drag skills? I never had skills. <laughs> skills. What are you talking about? Are you crazy? Skills, man. What drag skills? What are those? I barely have my Marduk skills. May Lord and Boss arrest us all. May King pay his medical bills. Can you believe I used to, like, on the Discord, joke about uh, the storyline of this game for King being that he wants to pay Marduk's medical bills with the winnings? And then I play the story mode, and lo and behold, that is his fucking story? I couldn't believe it when I saw that shit. He wants to pay for his friend's medical bills, because they're both uh, living in America. You know what that means. Um, so you're saying I need an angle here, right? Uh, I don't know how I can make this work. So if I slam him against the crow where the where that bird is right there, maybe I can get something different, you think? Like if I got a side wall hit. Got him in the corner. Like that, right? Come on, get in that corner. That's your corner. Wait. It comboed, but did I did I have the okay. I wanna be sure. It comboed, but we gotta be sure. I know why that works. So, what happens there, this is my guess. So what happens there is because when I grab him, I push him aside, there is some space between when you push him and him hitting the wall. You're taking away some of the recovery of the throw that way. While if you were to push him up against the wall, it's like no, reco no uh, there's no space. So that's what I think is happening there. No, he'd block it. Uh, I'm confident in that. Look. See? So there you go. You have that super specific, super, super specific setup on a throw that is breakable, but he has it still. Yeah, Armor King's uh, Giant Swing was sick. I agree. Alright. I mean, you want, to, you, want, you want me to test it on myself to see if I can block it? Alright. Uh, 
I know what you're saying. Not to set myself, I know what you're saying. You think the spacing will be different if I do it this way? Oh, not quite. <laughs> he needs to get closer to me. Uh... Guard all, guard all, right? There you go. So when his back is to the wall, or when he gets that side situation, he got that. And then he's saying, quarter circle forward one. That's gonna be a hard one to fucking do. Ugh. I couldn't imagine. I mean, it'd be nice to have a wall splat without the need for, um, I have to, like, every time I fuck it up, I have to go through this, go here, and make it walk forward and shit. I take your word for it on this one. <laughs> Every time I fuck it up, I'm gonna have to go through this whole process of resetting, making him walk forward, because he's not in range. Because I'd rather my back be pressing against the wall to test this, but whatever. Yeah, see, he's not gonna touch the wall. Fucker. Your name's me. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. I could do something about this, right? I'm an idiot. I got. I, I know what you're probably saying right now. Hold on. They added this handy dandy setting right here. What? No. What the fuck? What the fuck? How does this work? How am I supposed to record the current position? Stand and approach. Okay. Thank you. I forgot about that. All this new stuff work. You gotta bear with me here. Where's stand and approach? Will he block it if I fuck it up? Well, let's see. I'll do something that I know is a guarantee. I can down forward too, right? He's not blocking. Unless that gives me enough for a down forward too, I don't think it does, right? Alright, I'm blocking. Fuck. So I have to make stand and approach, I still have to do this and turn it to guard off. There you go. I got it on the second try. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can do that again. Not as hard as I thought. If I could get this, you can too. Oops. Oh my god. How'd I do it? Oh yeah. There you go. Well, thank you for that, Shay. I was, this is why I was asking earlier. I was hoping the Steve player would show up. And lo and behold. Alright, so. Let's turn all this shit on. Let's turn off the wall. So 
now let's have a look at his throws. Any throw OK I should know about? your back is to the wall, then you might have something, depending on the recovery. Alright, yeah, for those of you that don't know, so, the move list shows forward and, and generic throw, and, uh, regular throw, right? So, um, is the frame data bot acting up? Looks like it is. So, what that means is, regular throw, there's no tracking, or maybe there's a little bit of tracking on one side. Forward throw means there is tracking to both directions. It's basically like homing, but it's slower. If I'm not mistaken, regular without holding forward is 12 frames, and forward plus throw is 15. I think. Uh, uh, the bot. The bot doesn't know what to do. Let me reload the bot. Stupid bot. I believe it's 15. There are throws that are 10 frames. Not the oh, this stupid white thing out of the way. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Does that work? No, it doesn't. Um, it's weird. I have to open up the properties and then it shows what it's supposed to show. How often do I stream? Well, um, I've been trying to make more of a habit of streaming during the summer because I don't have much work. So I was like, hey, I might as well stream more consistently. I don't have a set schedule, though. And uh, the thing is, I don't always stream second. Like, I don't like to play this game online that much. So, like, I've been doing these, though. Like, if you scroll down, you'll see the uh, YouTube. And I did a bunch of characters already. So I'm doing these. I'm trying to do at, le at least one a week right at the moment. Maybe two, but the thing is, I mean, uh, lately I've been taking at least two streams to do one character. So, oh yeah, I did do Master Raven, I forgot to say that. That is, like, not really a new character. Uh, Master Raven took me, like, nine hours to go through. But, yeah, I do also stream JRPGs, because why the fuck not? I want to stream Persona 5 and finish that before the fucking summer. I want to stream Yakuza 0. I've been streaming Splatoon, because I've been having fun with that game, I guess. <laughs> Just whatever I feel like playing, I'll stream it, man. And if anybody feels like watching, that's cool. If nobody feels like watching, I'll talk to myself. I'm okay with that. The thing is, like, I can't, I can't commit to a full-time streamer thing, because uh, I don't think I have the charisma to do that, and I go to college. So, once fall hits, I'm not going to have the time to do much of anything. Which is why I want to do a lot of this stuff during the summer. Okay, so throw. Hey, Shay, you happen to have any throw, Oki? If you've got any throw, Oki, I would like to know that. Oh, yeah, wait, so this, so, yeah, 12 frames, it says. Yeah, 15, so I was right. I'm assuming the bot is right on this. I'm pretty sure the bot is right on this. Uh, so we got this one, which is good positioning, but the Oki on it will depend on his recovery. So if you want to test your Oki off of a throw in a situation like this where they're near you, the first thing you want to test is if you have an option that uh, beats out both of the... Well, test how many frames you can... How slow of a move you can use to beat out Wake Up Kicks, Wake Up Blow, and Wake Up Mid. If you if you could beat out Wake Up Blow and Wake Up Mid with like 17 frames or 18 or 19 frames, you probably have some really solid Oki. And then you're going to want to test it against grounded side rolls and grounded back recovery. That's what we're gonna do right now. So two throw looks like it's good in positioning. Let's see how good it is outside of that. Don't know much about throw, Oki. You have a few options with the two throw. It looks like it, right? Um, let's turn on wake up kick. Mid kick, right? What hits ground? Um, well, you can size that. That's one thing you can do, but that's not really. Ugh, I'm trying to imagine I'm getting a crouch down. So he can get up and block that, but it does beat out the, um, he does have a load that beats out the wake-up kick. 
Interesting. Hold on a second. I just noticed something. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe not. It looked like he was a weird angle. I was like, I wonder if he wake up, kicks him, he stands tough, he just whiffs. That was the thing for Marduk when he tackled you and he did one, one of his follow-ups, I forget which one, and stand up. If he was just to stand there and you wake up, kick, you would kick it like a random ass direction and then he would launch you. Alright. That was when he wake up mid though. Okay, so we beat out both wake up options. Uh, wake up kicks. Let's test side roll, these two. If this, is, if this hits both saddles, this is pretty good. Okay, no. Alright, well, let's test. Uh, this is actually unreliable. This. Because what the AI is doing when you select this is they tap back to wake up and then they stop. If you tap, if you hold back to wake up that way and don't let go, you create more space. So that's why I don't, I don't, you gotta test this one on yourself. So, I'm looking at this side switches. Yeah, you see? So, what about if I were to tap back? It hits. And now, just to show you, proof is in the pudding, right? Oh, he blocked it, but you get the idea. It reached him. It's not supposed to reach him if you keep holding it back. Uh, back to the other one. Back to the ground. So, all right. One thing I'm noticing is this switches sides on success. Uh, it doesn't on break though. What about one throw? Huh? One throw does not on break, but I think one throw switches sides on success too. Right? Yeah. Dragon is facing us now. And now, uh, okay, yeah, this switches sides on success. So both of his throws, his generic throws. Uh, one plus two switches sides. I know that already. Um, okay. So, the elbow drop has a generic throw break. So he doesn't have any throw breaks that switches sides. What about Flicker? Flicker does not. Okay, so he has no throws that switch his sides on brick. But on success, I think all of his throws do. Now that I think about it. Not that one, though. So all but one of his throws switch his sides on success. Alright, let's go to the wall. My back to the wall and uh, one throw. See, now he's right in front of me, right? So this was the thing with like dragging off. His two throw would switch sides on success or on break. And on top of that, when they broke the throw, I'm sorry, when you when you when they didn't break the throw, he was actually right on top of him. So his Oki was way better. While when he does the throw mid stage, they're really far away from him. So that's why I want to test this. That gives me the idea, right? Um, we want to do the wake-up kick first. Nope. The frame data is not in his favor, huh? Alright, so let's see how bad it is for him, really. Okay, 13 frame wins. Barely, it looks like. Fifteen frame wins. Sixteen frame exchanges for mid. What about the low? I always forget which one's faster in that position. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so the low is slower. 
The low is the more dangerous option because if you get interrupted by the low, it's a juggle for them. So, 17 frames. 17 frames just loses? Not even an exchange? No, okay, I was slow. I gotta mash harder. Okay. Uh, up forward one. Yeah, but it's a low, so up forward one is no good. What's 19 frames? Let me see if I can find a 19 frame move here. Uh, start up 19. No, other than up forward one. Aaron niggas from a fucking stance. Uh, we got 21 frames. Forward two. Let's try it. Yeah, no, that lost. Uh, right. Uh, 18. System jumping move. Full crouch. Peekaboo. Peekaboo flicker. Yeah, well, 17 frames, right? So let's say he's in like that gray area of 18 to 20 frames. Of, uh, of, uh, so around like plus 8, 9 or 10 off of that throw. Well, you know that down forward 2 will be both. So let's go, let's just go with plus 6, right? Let's go with plus 5. But down forward 2 exchange, right? Let's test that again. Wake up mid. So it was plus seven, right? No. Huh. Weird. So we know he's at least plus seven on both. As long as you're not slow. If you could execute a forward forward two perfectly out of that. <laughs> that recovery is so slow. I suppose since you know that um, only on success you'll switch sides, you might as well only make the the throw. I mean, it's just it's so slow because you have to sway into it, right? But yeah, whatever. Let's try it again. I was be just a Sonic Fang. He crouched first. I wasn't fast enough. So, what if he were to stay down? Ah. Uh, uh, that wasn't that was it either. This is this might be it might be guaranteed. No, let me not like get ahead of myself here. You could get up and block at the time, I'm sure. Um. Yeah. Ugh, come on, dude. So, just like the other one, it covers that. have another mid that heads grounded, right? Back to he says. I mean, it looks like it would if he stood still, right? This might have to be a three-way Oki. Because then it becomes a situation of they stay down or a side roll. This would probably cover both, right? But that uh, wake up kicks will interrupt that, which makes it risky. Oh, it doesn't even work for that. I 
guess he's just not, he's destined to not have good throw, okay, right? Covers that side. If Dombak 2 doesn't, what does? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. It would just be cool to find some crazy ass tech, you know what I'm saying? Can Steve punish wake up mid kick on block? Sure, he can. Uh, wake up mid kick, it depends on what angle. What, like, uh, if it's face up feet towards, face down feet towards, head towards. The punishments become different, but Steve can punish them all. Uh, so let me give you an example, right? Off of this throw, right? Let's see. Okay, so that didn't work. And that might be negative 13. Oh, back one. Maybe. Yep, 13 frames. You have to see the punish there. So, I mean, it would just be 1 1 2 really for Steve. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> uh, back 1 2, maybe is the best one. Oh, so down forward 1 2 if he's close, right? And then the low, it's probably not going to be a launch, but. It's just, it's just gonna be wild man combo for the low. Right? Um, if I were to do this though, right? That's, I think, one of the most punishable ones out there. Yeah, see? We lost punishment with that shit, and that's an 18-frame move. So that's one of the most uh, 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 punishable ones. I think the, other, the next most punishable one is in this position. So this is why they say face down is more advantageous in your favor, and face down head towards is like, might be the worst positioning for your opponent, as long as the frame data is in your favor. Because the wake up options are weak. Like, that wake up low doesn't do shit on hit. If I just run into it right now, it's like fucking whatever, big deal. I mean, he's plus, but it's like fucking whatever, right? Uh, if I get counter hit by it, though, it's a juggle starter. So don't get counter hit. So the thing, the most dangerous low, though, is this one. Because on normal hit, as long as it's clean hit, he gets a juggle. So the face down feet towards, you gotta be careful, even though it's in your favor, uh, cause if he were to get a get up, he actually has a pretty, uh, significant window where you could hit him for trying to get up, but, I can just turn him around, right? Yeah, okay, so. see, that one, he can't do it. I think like a 15 frame launcher will catch him if you have the range. And that, that is sir. But see, 14 frame work. Uh, so, oh yeah, I can test 15 frames. Uh, if I don't get hit. No, not that. Um, yeah, so it's negative 15. That's a 15 frame low and it punished. So, most of the cast will be able to launch him with a while standing. 15 or 14 or 13 frame move as long as it's a mid because the capitals have a 13 frame um, forward plus one plus two should work in that situation the mid kick not in that not in uh not in the one i was i, I was at before face up no shit shit face up was only negative 13. sonic fang didn't work sonic fang is 14. um depends on the angle i don't i think wake up mid has a has one where it, where it's like negative 14. I don't know if it has it worse than that. Um, ooh, the little known Tekken song here from the 3D uh, 3DS game. 
So Bloodhawk, if you look him up on Tekken, Bloodhawk TR, he made a video about punishing all of these. But I might as well go through him here, right? Uh, 15. See? 15 didn't work, right? Uh, 14. So that's negative 14 frames, mid kick from that angle, right? So what about face, uh, head towards? Negative 14. It's a whiff. 15. See? That's the one that's negative 15. Uh, negative 16. Ah, uh, range. I, uh, with Steve, I don't I don't know if they're gonna test with 17 frames. Right? But just like, just like I said about the low, negative 19. Uh, negative 19 is up forward one, right? You're right, negative 19. There you go. So just like the low, uh, face down, head towards the mid is the most unsafe. So that's your most advantageous positioning. Uh, one more note about that position. Uh, something. You do have something that you could do, something unique about that positioning. About being face down in general, but in Matt, it's more for face down head towards. So when you're in a position and you tap up plus uh, a punch, right? Whether it's one or two, sorry. You get up like that, right? And if you don't, if your frame rate doesn't dip to 20 like mine just did, um, you wake up and you start at a while standing state. So you'll see often people put, get put in the state and they will wake up until an 11 frame move. Uh, how do you, how the fuck do you do that? Shit. My frame rate is going to shit again. It's because it's raining. How do you do Fuck, how do you do it again? Shay, how do you do it? <laughs> how do you wake up until a wall standing with this fucking situation? You're supposed to be able to wake up until a wall standing move from, from face down, head towards, right? Am I crazy? You're supposed to be able to do that shit. Like people do that shit all the time. You have to stand up first. See? Even though you visually see him crouching for a second, he's stand jabbing. So, like, I see, like, Bloodhawk likes to do that shit all the fucking time, and it catches me all day, because uh, Link players like to do it, too, because it look they go into a wild standing attack way faster than, like, it seems. They're on the floor, and all of a sudden, they're standing into a wild standing, and Leo... Just like her while standing moves like fucking reach all the way across the fucking screen it feels like. You see how she's down, she's down all of a sudden she gets up and yeah, all up in your face. That shit is so annoying. I don't know how to do it. Anyway, we went over the wake up kicks. Remember, face on heads was the worst positioning. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to ask. Alright, so let's look at this throw. Alright, 19 frame exchanged. So I don't think you can get anything too crazy there. Seems like it's similar to the 1 plus 3. Uh, same thing. So his his frame data is the same. So he's not going to get anything crazy. Down plus 1 plus 2 is kind of shitty. Down back 2 is kind of shitty. And his throw okay, is kind of shitty. But in exchange for that, he has this fucking amazing ass move. So. Remember, when your back is to the wall, you get the core circle forward one. Chase said he thinks you get the forward one plus two. I didn't test that. I'll test that and that'll be the last thing I test. Come here, my dear. Yep, 15 frames, huh? Combo. So he gets the follow, which is that. Was that? Did that? Does that wall splat? That wall splats? If that wall splats, that's fucked up. Hold up. Thank you. Oh, she's speaking. Oh, why did he say? Speaking of Persona, Persona Five. Oh shit. No, it doesn't. Okay. That knockdown is actually the giveaway. If they, like, fall right on their ass in front of you like that, that means it doesn't wall splat. I should have known. That would have been fucking crazy. 42 damage wall splat, dude. Oh, Sonic Fang. Sonic Fang does. Yeah, you're right about that. Sonic Fang is good damage. I don't know if that's what you're, why you were bringing it up, but... Oh, fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm tired. Nice and close. Hey, oh, uh, no, he has to get a full wall splat off of that. So, quarter circle forward one is what you gotta do for a full wall splat. I see, I have something else I don't know about. So the area else is for weaving and shit. You don't get it? Well, uh, look. I'll, I'll show you right now. You see how he's like slumping really fast? I mean, some characters might get a follow up, but Steve doesn't. Maybe another Sonic fan? Nope. See you in combo. What a real wall spat looks like, they get glued to the wall and then they fall to their knees and then they fall down. That's what a real wall spat. And then there's like a hard wall splat, which is maybe that. Yeah, see? They get, he gets splat for way longer and then he falls. And then you can do all sorts of funky stuff for this because he's off axis. So you can like sidestep and then float him for a jungle probably, right? If you didn't suck like I did. And you would like carry them off the wall. Or carry them sideways from wall to wall. Right, yeah. So, what he could actually do off of that when his back is to the wall is court circle forward one. And that's a full wall splat. And then you would do whatever the hell the wall combo is, right? You know, I don't know, whatever the fuck his wall combo is. That's the Tekken 5.0. <laughs> That shit did so much damage. So much fucking damage. And Tekken 500 didn't have wall stumps, so it looked really dumb. They would be falling down and they wouldn't re even react to the overhead. It would just have a hit spark while they're falling and it would do a shitload of fucking damage. I don't know, whatever. Alright, so, I mean, one thing you should know about it, I brought it up earlier. Quarter circle back plus uh, 2 plus 4. That means that to break that throw, because it's a command grab with a two break, right? Yeah, see, it's a two break. Look at his hands. 
because it's a command grab, because it's not generic 2 plus 4, you have to press 2 to break that move, to break that throw. So, if you see Steve, you know, you should always be breaking based on the hands so that's uh, king, right? But still, if you see, if you fight against Steve, remember that. Not that any Steve players are using that throw, but, you know, just keep that in mind. Alright. Yeah, if their back is to the wall, the only thing you get out of that throw is 1-1-2. One, one, That's all that you get. See, 12 frame doesn't work. 13, no. Nope, doesn't work. Four hours and 33 minutes. Alright, I think it's time for me to call it. At least get a, a short nap before I have to get to work. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I certainly learned a lot. Hope you guys did. And I uh, hope you have yourselves a good or whatever it is today, Tuesday. Yeah, I'll get some sleep later and then I'll pop back up and play some Persona 5. But by then, Aris will probably be streaming, so you're all going to watch him.